it go. It's really Why a sad ass she? song. See, I'm sorry that you seem to be confused. Why would she let it go? He belongs to me. The reality is a sad ass song. She's, she's really going out sad in this song. Yeah, it's kind of tough though, bro. You don't see the problem with that? <laughs> no, she, the, she didn't know. She, until, Brandy knew. She didn't know. She, she found out. She, she found, found out. That's but what it's I'm like, saying. You're already issue. in there now. She found out and now she's saying the boy is hers, which is making her go out sad, basically. Yeah, because you're supposed to be the... That's toxic. Is it? It is. Come it's on. not, bro. You're so engulfed in it. You don't... You can't tell. <laughs> he doesn't even understand the difference. It's, he doesn't. And look, look, she's already been invested. I, we don't know how many dates they've been on, how many trips. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. You know, all the lovemaking sessions. <laughs> that plays a part. Toxicity. You can't just be like, oh... Well, and that's what it. causes the toxicity. You know what I'm saying? It, it does. No, it don't. That's yes. just yes, it that's does. connection. <laughs> so, all right. So, for example, if you found out that you was rocking with, you was messing with someone, and then they had somebody else on the side, you're yes. not, of course, off rip, you can be like, man, this sucks. I'm done with it. But there's still going to be that part of you like, damn, bro. Like, I still I still care for this person. I still I I'm still not denying. I'm not refuting that fact. It's just that's the fact what I'm that, saying. No, nah, but the boy, boy is hers. She's being she's she's, she's now fighting the situation. It now. Yeah, that's I mean, toxic. Then she's saying, "I'm sorry, you must be confused." <laughs> I mean, we don't know how deep they love ran, so I can't just be like, "Ah, she nah, tripping." She getting played. She getting. I mean, yeah, she is getting played. Both exactly of them. why both she going out saying it's a toxic. But both of them are toxic environment. Played. Both of them getting played. Who is both of them? Cause the guy is living good. I'm and talking about the other, <laughs> the other chick. <laughs> the chick don't care clearly. <laughs> the other chick is she just as toxic. But they both getting played. If she know, and Brandy made a song saying the boy is mine, and the ladies are getting played. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, but she fighting over it like toxic. I mean, I wouldn't it's, call it toxic. It's, it, it's it a is. fucked up situation. It's very it toxic. Is. It is it, okay in in a grand scheme of things. Yes. It is toxic. All right, we ain't got to go forever. But, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I, when you really break it down, it's toxic. At the end of the day, <laughs> she fighting talk. for what she want. Yeah, a True. toxic two relationship. Things, two things can be right at the same time. <laughs> you're uh, right. You're right. She's I fighting look, for what she, she want. Yeah. A toxic relationship. I you think his, his 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 ways are just gonna change now? After oh, no. she, the boy is hers, and no. you know what he gonna do? Toxicity. While he talking to another girl, hey, let me turn this jam over real quick. <laughs> Yeah, this girl I used to talk to was uh. Were we recording the entire time, or I was just ad lib? No, we was recording. Oh, for real? You don't want the people to see how you really feel? I mean, hey, <laughs> that's in there, baby. I don't feel. I don't give a shit. <laughs> see, now nah, my relationship. Now nah, we double down. Say, I don't give a damn. It's <laughs> not my problem. Sensational. <laughs> is this thing on? What's hey, going man. on, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing today? What up? What up? What's what good, up? y'all? Welcome good, back man. to season two, man. Uh, episode two. Episode. Oh, yeah, I thought we was going to oh, episode 90. I'm tripping. Episode 90. Are we 90 yeah, or 90? That was yeah, 89 last, one was, last time? Last one was 89, right, Nisha? <laughs> Damn, ah. bro. We, yeah, yeah, last one was 89. We get, no, we don't even See, that's why we just we go to two. That's why I said two. <laughs> two makes sense. <laughs> two Man. is easy. We got to keep the continuity going. Season, <laughs> season two, episode, episode 90. 90. So that way, when we get to episode 100, it's like, oh, damn, they did 100 of these things, even though they stopped, start, stop, start. But they still did 100 of them. Yeah, you can still binge true. them. Yeah, you can. You, <laughs> you can, can see the progression. Them, yeah. yeah, you can. You can see. So 90? Yeah, 90. okay. Look at me. You can talk. I mean, no, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah Shout yeah, out to our, our producer out here. Why you, you know yeah, what I'm saying? She, she back in the thing. You know yeah, what I'm man. Shout out to her. She's You're not out of the script. <laughs> always, always appreciate it. So, For sure. man, it's, it's good to be back, man. It's good to uh, yeah, first start of the week. Yep. Uh, the day that we're recording this, um, oh, and coming from a a great a weekend, great weekend. Yeah, if you're a oh. big Houston Houstonian, yeah, just in general, it's a great, great. Weekend, and today is bro. media day for the Rockets. Right now, they're actually going on right now. Oh, yeah, okay. I've seen uh quite a few different teams. Uh, just seen Lonzo Ball talking. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I know. Uh, I got to check out <laughs> to see what we doing. But uh, the Astros and the Texans won. Yep, the same day, mm -hmm. first time since I want to say two thousand. Sorry, Chisel. Yeah, sorry, Chisel. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, nah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm so I sorry, actually bro. put a message on one of his videos. I said, "Hey, just call T.J. White and tell him to take a day off." And he looked like he took a day off. For him. <laughs> I actually did that. He needed that, bro. But now, nah, uh, at the end of the day, he did it for his brother. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was about to say he did it for the ring ceremony. The shout out to J.J. White too, man. Houston. <laughs> Long time Houstonian, well mm -hmm. not Houstonian, but uh, Texan. That you know he was dog. You know talking about the D and dog. He put the <laughs> D and dog, bro, and he got it in the bloodline, bro. What, yeah. what is the coincidence that your brother end up coming behind behind you? They just forget just, about the other brother, though. Yeah, they do. He just 
I mean, it, it kind of, you know. <laughs> he's that brother. He's like mm-hmm. the one ball brother. It's like Seth. That, that the what's the the third ball brother? Uh, Jello. Jello. Yeah, he's like that. Yeah, one. yeah, 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 yeah. He's like but, that. Uh, well, he really kind of did that because he went on a you know, swiper, <laughs> no swiper. I mean, spree. that's his fault. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't understand. But yeah, um, shout out to them, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he getting real swole though. Him and his dad, like, they doing a lot of like workout oh, videos yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. stuff. I don't know. Maybe they'll collab with CT Fletcher. But uh, shout out to the Strohs making the playoffs. Shout out to the Strohs, yes, man. You know what I'm saying? We do what we do. Two we times, the AL West two times, champs. Two times, you know what I'm saying? Two times, two times, two times. Going to be three times, three times. Three times you know what I'm saying? Shout out to, uh, once again, like you said, Texans getting a, a commanding, commanding win. We got a quarterback, y'all. Yeah, we, we do. We got one, baby. And he, you know what I'm saying? He, he stays away from... The extracurriculars. <laughs> what Hopefully. Mean? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you know, the extracurriculars that our last quarterback, who was actually pretty good. Like what? The last you quarterback know? was just trying to get the kinks out. Yeah, know? he was getting a lot of kinks out. Whole Too lot. many kinks out. What actually. are you referring to? I don't I don't think some all of the people. All I'm in the saying is, is if you know, you know. Where that's in the past. All I'm saying we is we used to have a quarterback. Yeah, we used to, you know, and then like I said, the extracurriculars caught up with him. Rub it to but I do, to get up out of there. I do like how CJ, uh, he did, uh, uh, I think, a little press media yesterday. He's like, man, uh, Texans deserve to want to wear their shirts with pride and want to cheer for the team. And, and you know, that's what we're all about in this locker room. I'm like, bro, that's that's some leadership qualities right there. He takes and, his team out, well, his uh, line out to uh, eat, like, every week. And that's he, Here you go. Um, not winning since 2021. I think it was around Christmas, yeah. like – like that ain't flying from like anybody in this building. And I want them to know like we find our tails off every day to make sure y'all walk around with Texan gear pride. Like y'all, y'all walk around with that swag that we walk around with when we get a dub. Yes, yeah, so yeah, y'all yeah. deserve like dog. Yeah, that's when, <laughs> like you hear that special. Yeah. Oh man, that's y'all fancy. To, <laughs> like, we like, stepped up. We moved that's on. That's fancy. Up, I didn't man. know y'all could hear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why you looked at me like yeah. Oh, that's that's why I looked too. Yeah. I was like, I yeah, hope nah, they can they hear that. So we just not sitting in it. Oh yeah. The hell they not in the head suit, but nah, good music, good anymore. music. But yeah, no, nah, like the, the <laughs> fact that he's able to, you know, communicate, like he know what people feel like. Yeah. And you can tell he got that winner's mentality mm-hmm. and just what he said. But the most that I took from that is he just didn't go in there talking shit. Yeah, he was nah. just like, we're going to go and work and fight hard every day. Yep. And that's what, that's I, all I That's I all for. I really want, bro. That's all I Cool ask West Coast for. dude, man. And yeah, bro. <laughs> Out there cool balling, balls. he was dropping some dimes. Oh my god! And with precision, we have never oh. had a quarterback that precise. Fam, that the, is crazy. the pass to Nico Collins is like that mug. That was like a game pass. Mm-hmm. You ever seen that a pass just said, drop right, right into his hand, in your bro. hands, full stride? That is, oh my god! Yeah, it bro. was beautiful to see. Man. And defense, shout oh, out to y'all, boy. Flying around, <laughs> Steven Nelson goes from being disgruntled to. Our uh, team captain to yeah. catching interceptions like he was receiver yesterday. Yeah, oh, nah. I'm talking about. I'm come talking about, bro. And what's work. my guy? Uh, I got to come up with a nickname, but uh, oh two oh two oh. Like two, my two. my guy. Yeah, that would have been a for sure touchdown for the Steelers. You know, any other team or yeah, 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 yeah. Came flying. My guy yeah. came in that mug, broke that bro, pass. Flying. Up, you know? It's bro. It's and then they keep that energy. <laughs> yeah, they keep that energy, bro. That then that was a good game to watch. Um, but then we didn't allow them to score a single touchdown. Nope. And it's one of those type of things where it's like I know there's a lot of people. Oh, y'all may win one game. Y'all, y'all. Those people writing us off saying we ain't gonna win no games. But guess what, man? I said this before the season. I said it before the season. I said it just takes some chemistry. Yep. I watched them at training camp. I went to training camp at least four or five times. Mm-hmm. I said it just takes some chemistry and mm-hmm. healthy players. And we're gonna be a problem. Yeah, we're not there yet. Yeah, for sure. We're rebuilding for sure. Mm-hmm. But you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I can yeah. see yeah. that yeah. blueprint. They're I trying to build a whole clearly. different culture. Yeah, because training camp this year in comparison to last year was totally different vibes. Mm-hmm. I'm talking, and, and then you had Lovey Smith. So mm-hmm. like, you we went to training camp. And he he playing like. Uh, the OJs and stuff. Mm. <laughs> go to, go to yeah, training yeah. camp this year. He's he's playing a uh, little baby and everything. All, yeah. all the players are actually liking the stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like okay, no, nah. different vibe. I'm I'm you could tell. And you were saying that uh, a few people now are just switching up on their um, oh for sure win loss. Oh for oh, sure. For sure. Oh, no, that's shit. Because you recently said that yesterday, like somebody yeah. changed it. Hell yeah. To... Now I see them ten wins now. I'm oh like, oh man, it was so... funny. <laughs> I just got had a conversation with somebody yesterday. I said. 
all the casual fans are about to start coming to games again. Oh, for <laughs> sure. Because yesterday there was like it's seventy five percent uh, Steelers fans. No, it was like a lot of Steelers. Uh, Steelers I was like, that's Steelers that's fans. been normal for the past three years. Mm-hmm. I know because I've been. So mm-hmm. I've they seen come, it. they come, but we'll see them close. back, and they're mm-hmm. gonna come back and they're gonna fill up the stadiums. I didn't even like, like we're rocking. I've been rocking with them since the rebuild. No, you mm-hmm. weren't. Yeah, quit your line. I didn't even ass. like that, bro. It was too many. Well, it's always been like that. Bro. No, I know, but just just looking at it visually. But it made it even sweeter. It last did. year it was did. that's why last year was rough because we went to the Chargers game and it felt like we were at in LA. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Yo, mm-hmm. this is wild." Mm-hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> really, like, it was yeah. it was a it was a beautiful game. Was sight. basically at home. <laughs> oh yeah, he, I swear he had it was nothing but baby blue and gold. In mm-hmm. there. Wait, and let us let us start winning. Like we're I'm supposed you. to watch, they be outnumber like crazy. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, I'll even be back in there. You already been. Again. Yeah. Well, I definitely <laughs> want to go again. No, I definitely. All okay. right, got tickets for the Buccaneers game. Ooh. Oh, for real? Ooh. You tell nobody. You just. <laughs> that was a. Uh, I was already Sweetie. going. With, I wanted to go with my wife. So. I hope you want to go to when they had the Saints you got game. Got a sentimental reason. Yeah. Saints you know that, game. At, uh, I don't oh, know if you know Animal yeah. or not. My buddy Animal. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but um, he was like super excited about it before the year. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yesterday was the most. Frustrated, I have seen mm-hmm. this man. Because they he lost was like, man, I don't even Tampa know if I'm gonna Bay. go. I'm gonna just send you money to get the ticket. You can go yourself. I was like, bro, just, let's dead. just go to the game together and enjoy. Nah. It. He's like, no, I'm not going. Especially y'all, y'all playing better. My team, my team ain't shit. <laughs> I was like, damn, <laughs> support your team, bro. <laughs> Because we've been through it. I was like, we have. I was like, you talking to a Texas fan? I mm-hmm. know. Yeah. yeah, we've been through it for a long few few seasons. Ever since uh, Bill O' Booty Chin Brian has screwed the organization. You know, it's oh, so right. funny. Yeah, I'll never I, forget I, that. I, I was watching. Uh, that. I was watching a little bit of the uh, Patriots uh, and the Cowboys game, Chin. and then uh, they they pan to Belichick, mm-hmm. and then somebody sitting on this in the chair. <laughs> Where the players be sitting there was like looking at the camera like that, and it was Bill O'Brien. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, that's what you're. Because mm-hmm. he, he, he came out there over there too. He's he dealing with it over there. I'm like, he yes. He came out there. They look so much worse. I'm like, yeah. Well, Mac Jones got benched. Yeah, <laughs> he thought he, thought he was going to go back home and get a victory. Like, mm-hmm. nah, fam. Uh-uh. It ain't that kind of. It ain't that kind of party you right now. Ain't the no entire, team ready there. <laughs> entire organization and dip, bro. We were struggling for about three years, and we're just now. Starting to, to rebuild, recover. yeah. He single handedly destroyed in an organization, but you bro. know what? Yeah. Things happen for a reason, of course. Of course, some of our greats was already retired. We was already gonna have to be in discussion with getting them some more key pieces. Mm-hmm. Um, because Andre and them was heading out. <clears throat> D Hop is dealing with a lot of injuries and stuff, and you know, he's still a great player. But mm-hmm. and even with us winning the game last year, even though we was all pissed. It ended up working out. I wasn't pissed. I wasn't. I was happy that he won. Well, a lot of yeah. you know, yeah, a lot of people like, like throw it, but I'm like, nah. I'm too big of a fan to care about us like to get taking that two. diving right there. And guess like, what? We still benefited from the draft. And so. and like I tell people all the time, we went crazy in the draft. NFL draft in comparison to NBA draft are not the same. Like mm-hmm. the jump from like one to two in NBA is totally different from yeah. one to two in NFL. NFL, Back. you can literally your top four rounds can have NFL Some starters. Backs. Literally, Some our running back. Backs. Yep. <laughs> He's like third or fourth round, mm-hmm. and then you got um, it's a lot of players we have. Toa Toa, <laughs> not a first rounder, bunch of first rounders mm-hmm. like don't even necessarily start every time. So like, yeah. But I mean, at the same time, the talent level is so big in the NFL mm-hmm. to where that doesn't really make that big of a difference. And you me. never really know who's gonna pop off anyway until you actually touch exactly. the court yeah. or the field because you know the lights is different when you in a national league. You mm-hmm. feel me? So uh-huh. but they they showing up, they showing out. CJ Stroud always been. Poised, yeah. you know what I'm saying. He always had good composure, getting more comfortable he with was the game getting, speed too. He was just getting bru- brutal, <laughs> brutally hurt, you know, when the O line wasn't, you know, doing their job. But around, yeah. to see that he hasn't been getting sacked for the last couple of games, to see, and if we you still got key pieces still missing. <laughs> yes, yeah, they coming back this week. If yeah. you're looking at analytics, you can see, hey, when my when my guy isn't being rushed yes. and he get a chance to to figure out what he's doing, never throwing a pick yet. I you know think uh, so, someone had said the stats like he's throwing it out. I think he got twelve hundred and twelve yards total. It's, yep, he's the top. Uh, he passed up Andrew Luck. He's second in uh, passing second in yards history. without an interception for it's, the first four weeks in, in history. Insane. It makes like, me small, bro. Insane. And the fact <laughs> that the fact that he's getting the ball out in like under two and he's seconds. doing it fast for an Ohio <laughs> State quarterback who, who like typically they get the negative light of like holding the ball too long because they're used to a clean yeah, pocket bro. anyway. 
His Georgia game is what let me know that I I believe I have faith in him mm-hmm. because he played Georgia and Georgia's the closest thing you're gonna get to NFL Fail, ready yep. defensive mm-hmm. team. So him being able to Georgia. handle that Georgia defense the yeah. way he was, I was like, okay, we speaking, might have something. Speaking of seeing light at the end of the day, um, <clears throat> what do y'all feel about uh, the Colorado game? Oh, I was me glad and you talked that about up. it. Yeah, man, I, that, at the very oh, end, I didn't God. actually get to. I never really get to watch the Colorado games unless they're like night games. But I, I saw like. They were getting blown out at first, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh, this game over." And I come back, and by the time I got off, basically, I watched. I was catching the end of it, mm-hmm. and I was like, "It's forty-one to 40. What just happened?" I think mm-hmm. I got mad at that game because they could have won. They could have. Yeah. They could have. Like, they should have. When I talked to Ross, he said the same thing before I could say it. When I looked online at the highlights, people were saying the same thing. They burned <laughs> four minutes, mm-hmm. fam, or however many in that last drive, mm-hmm. running the ball up the gun. Like that was just very, very it wasn't poor good time, man. offensive calling. It wasn't good and, time. Man. And horrible time. You know you didn't have any timeouts. Um, it was just bad offensive. You and know. then their defense, like since game one, I said their defense will always be the problem for this year. Oh, for sure. They were terrible. USC isn't some defensively amazing team either. Though. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. So that's why I saw it potential. Same with Oregon. I don't even think Oregon's like amazing defensively. But um I knew for a fact Colorado's issue was going to be that defense. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then that, you know, what that stems and causes issues morale wise and, you know, yeah, it's a nah, tumbleweed effect after it, that. It, it's one of them things where, but me watching that game, like, I can see the light at the end of the day because they do have uh, Kermani who um, came in <laughs> and he started dogging out on defense. Um, and then uh, number 14, I forgot his name, uh, he, he came in uh, on receiver end. Um, and he he was, man. Yeah, he was really the one that was giving him them the most issues, yeah. or not. Yeah, like he he and when they got, tra- I could see with Travis, him, uh, Jimmy Horn, and Xavier, and you got Shiloh back. Cause Shiloh wasn't even playing on defense. Like mm-hmm. they gonna have some pretty good, that, some pretty good pieces. That Colorado team is gonna be ridiculous in general. Oh, it's because um, mm-hmm. he's, he's really year? about to change that whole culture. Because they went from <laughs> one loss. They're already three wins over. I mean, two wins over what they had exactly. last year. They won one game. So, so <laughs> it's like <laughs> he's already them, sh- made the program better by default. Um, this year is really like that trial run, and then next year people are still going to want to come play for prime. Mm-hmm. So it's just going to make the team better. They're going to be in the top 25 next year. Bro, by Good next chance. year, bro, they – they man. Because you're getting five-star recruits. They want to come play for prom. They want to sure. come play for prom, bro. Yeah. The access you get to the people in the community that he has mm-hmm. uh, to come up there. Some of these people are cool and ace boom with – Michael Irvin, mm-hmm. like bro, T.O. Uh, mm-hmm. there all the time. You telling me you get one on one relationship with these guys? Mm-hmm. Like, bro, come on. But it's also gonna make it harder for those guys who typically would go to Colorado. And now they're like, well, I guess I might not be able to play for Colorado because you're not gonna get PT because it's it's about to be some stars coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 he, boys gonna be like, well, he let them know. He said, hey, he, you ain't gonna start anyways. Like, yeah. you better might as well get your grades right. <laughs> yeah. Show up. But you know one thing I do like about Prime, bro? Yeah. He's not only trying to make them win on the field, he's trying yeah. to make them win off the field yeah. like what we talked about last pod. So, yeah. mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of people, they they in good hands, fam. Like, For you sure. know, I would send my son there. You know, if he, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he was still coaching and stuff like that. Shout out to my son, bro. Oh, my God. He got an amazing. I heard he went crazy. He got an amazing sack in the game. They <laughs> This is their hardest team that they went against. They was both mm-hmm. undefeated. And this is the team that beat their freshman team in the Super Bowl last year. Uh-huh. So for some, he wanted his get back. And I'm like, bro, you he got didn't it. even play last year. He got him He's a sack. Like, I know, Dad. But And then when I woke him up that morning of the game, he rolled over and he was smiling. I was like, man, what are you <laughs> smiling for? He was like, I get to play the team that beat us last year. I was like, <laughs> so like That's come awesome, on. man. I love it. And he went out there. He went, And they, it was a clear size difference. Yeah. Some of these boys are like, y'all in my height. <laughs> Jesus. Big man, boys. They, they ate. Jesus. Eight. Quote yeah, they, they yeah, my birth certificate yeah. say eight. Got a mustache. I, know, I need to see that. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah, but a lot of them was, you know, they was huge. So mm-hmm. it was a it was a clear size difference, but they still went out there and they they had the heart, fam. And they and they did their thing, bro. So Super yeah, no, that's that's man. Shout out to Isaiah, man. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to him. Mariah too, being the young oh, track yeah, star. Sure. Can't wait for uh um, when track, uh, track season. season come back around, I know she yes, is sir. definitely gonna be out there trying to trying to redeem some things, oh, yeah. and get uh, get that get back, get that gold medal mm-hmm. that she uh, rightfully deserves. So, uh, hey man, y'all got some got some uh, talented kids, oh, man. I appreciate that. It's gonna be interesting to see what Josiah does. 
He want to run track. He should say she's going to put him in track. Okay, all right. He ready to run. Yeah. All right. All right. Burn that energy. So yeah, home, yeah. When he get home. All right, man. I'm <laughs> Mid conversation. That's what I'm asking for. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but since we still on the sports topic, we got to talk about what's been going on with uh, Travis Kelsey and uh, Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift as and them. the Swifties <clears throat> and the Swifties didn't even know that was a thing. What's, what's been Please going don't on? come at me about that. But uh, so I didn't uh, even know they were called Swifties. Yeah, I didn't know. So, I think I'm correct. <laughs> no, I, okay. I mean, I, it, who knows at this point? But um, basically, they've been. Uh, I guess it's been. I don't know if it's been officially confirmed, but they've been dating, maybe in a relationship, whatever the case is. They talking. She, you know, she's been coming to the games or whatnot, and mm-hmm. the thing that people have been bringing up is is it a upgrade or a downgrade from, from a Travis tra- Kelsey's last relationship yeah. he was dating uh, uh a black woman or whatnot she was very beautiful or mm-hmm. whatnot but the conversation has become is it an upgrade or is it a downgrade so I mean granted I know we don't really be caring about other people's relationships and yeah. stuff like that you know, I, I kind of like hey do what you want it's, it's your life so I'm not yeah, here to absolutely. judge on that but I know that's been a topic of discussion and a lot of women have been feeling like it's a downgrade and really uh, yeah I've seen a lot I've See, seen a lot that of women is stupid to me because you don't know what was going on in the relationship <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. so it's if, his choice if he personally feels like she's treating him better which I think he said something about her being more aggressive or something towards him or something. Mm-hmm. I seen something on that. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah, I don't really yeah. care. Yeah. But if she feels he feels like Taylor's better t- to him or towards him, then I mean that's an upgrade in my eyes. If yeah. He was getting treated better. And yeah. If he's attracted to both of them, it don't really matter. At that yeah. Point, so. And also at the end of the day, <laughs> if we, because you know money talks, bullshit walks. That's just how it is. Even though it shouldn't oh, be. Well, you talking it, money? <laughs> even if it should, you know, in a relationship Honey, that man, shouldn't be. The main focus, but you know, people pocket watch. So it's been reported uh that apparently since she's been going to the games, oh, yeah. his jersey number, like his jersey went sales crazy. went up like four hundred percent. Yep. People have been buying his jersey. Obviously, that's from her fan base really <clears throat> supporting her and mm-hmm. by default supporting him. Yeah. Uh the I wanna say social media been blowing up crazy. Um also uh apparently he had some type of clothing line that he owns or whatever some type of brand or whatnot and that started to sell out he was wearing it before mm-hmm. the game and then I, it's funny because i've been seeing in a lot of commercials especially yesterday he's in a lot more commercials now yeah. and it's one of those things where it's like she is a brand within herself some people she financially uh, upgraded him. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing you know he, he wasn't hurting financially at either, all Fact but true. it was just one of those things where it's like for some people to be like, oh, it's a downgrade. Well, really, it, it on the business side of things, it's really benefiting him even more. And I don't want to look at a relationship as a transaction, even though some people do. That's how it is, especially in the industry, sports industry, industry, music industry. It's like a transaction. Mm-hmm. You help. We look good together. Let's help each other grow financially. We see it all the time. But if we're going to base it off of that, which a lot of people base relationships off of who got more money or not it's still in it's he still up. an upgrade he up like just say, just say it bro he up say travis kelsey is up then since he's been talking to taylor he's up there you go he's up since he's been talking. i know you was probably just been, scared to say no that, it's not even that i'm scared to say it. i don't give a fuck it's not my relationship i ain't making no money for me but i'm just saying at the end of the day if you want to Try to sit up there and be like, oh, well, she was a black woman, boom, 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 boom. She looked better than Taylor. That's subjective. Cool. Whatever. But nigga's still up. And if he's happy and he's up even more off of it, who am I to say it's a downgrade? Why, why do you, know you think saying? women are saying it's a downgrade? Because Honestly, <laughs> is it just the looks or is it because? It's mostly the it's looks, the bro. Looks. And she's a black looks. woman. And she, and she do you looks. think it's because it, it's from a black woman to yeah. a white girl? If he was dating white someone woman? that looked just like Taylor or around the same. Before? Before. I don't think anybody would care. They probably would say it was an upgrade if she was a regular chick. If she was just a regular mm. chick that looked similar to Taylor and was a white chick, they would be like, oh, damn, that nigga, man, that boy yeah. Travis Kelsey caught the bag, but. Since because a black woman, uh, a very attractive black woman, they're um, making it a bigger deal. They're making it a bigger deal than it should be. Now it's like, oh, it's a downgrade. Look at her; she ain't. But it's like, bro, who 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 is saying that? 
<laughs> What's I'm the camera? Man. What demographic? <laughs> what demographic? I can't confirm well, say put what it on demographic his that is. So he can, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? From the stuff I've seen on Instagram and Twitter, it's it's our sisters. It's our sisters. Damn, it's keep keep the camera them. on him. Don't, don't it's put not it on all of them. <laughs> don't get it twisted. It's not no, all of them. No. But it's, 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 a, camera on him. it's a lot of sisters <laughs> out there that, that feel that way. And mm. hey, if that's your opinion, that's your opinion. But at the same time, you got to look at it from uh, 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 another mm-hmm. standpoint. Just because someone's not dating someone that's part of our community anymore. <laughs> It, that we shouldn't shun them for yeah, it. Man, uh, like or look at them like oh you downgraded and we we get especially nowadays it's like men can separate themselves from a, a partner or a black woman and it, it don't mean it's a downgrade they talk to some other race yeah it's it's your personal preference i don't know why yep. when men do it oh it's a downgrade but when women do it it's an upgrade oh, we're going there huh we're going there oh that's that's bro. <laughs> he trying to pod. I'm just saying. I'm trying to pod. I'm ready to go to the next level too. I'm just saying. Episode ninety was the episode. <laughs> it was the episode when, we when I got angry messages. Ross, fuck you. You don't know. Shit. You don't take your, care of your, your black got, women. When your clip got added on the shade room, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't, bro. That's a that's a toxic ass response. Sight. Uh, oh, well, shade, shade room, room is extremely shade toxic. Room, it, it benefits off the the shenanigans. The and the Sinead, yeah. It, it benefits off that. Like you can be minding your damn business. And some they'll post a picture from something, repost something that you just having a normal day, and then mm-hmm. people will make that a whole topic yep. Yep. when you just minding your business. But um, I will say the the preference bag, the upgrade bag, should be Travis Kelsey's choice. That Absolutely. should be his answer. Sure. The only it's, upgrade it's is should, up to him. It should be mm-hmm. up to him. What was he dealing with before? I mean, they had been broken up. I yeah, this like was a since... wow. It's about almost like a year. It's yeah, been like, a minute. They, they've been broken up. So it was just like, like, oh, here's a relationship. Let's uh, let's make a big deal out of it now. You know how they do. And of course, I get it. It's Taylor Swift. Yeah, it's Taylor Swift, yeah. so it's a big deal. You off. think it's hate because <clears throat> it's Taylor? No, it's not hate. It's just because he le- he's not with a black woman no more. That they feel it looks better. Well, I guess I guess. I guess it could, it's, it could be clear because if it was another black woman, I'd be like oh, then you would have been tearing that. down the mm. current black woman for the old one. But because it's a white <laughs> lady, you can say it's a downgrade because. And then apparently, since we got to look at the other side of it, because Taylor Swift, some of her Swifties have been coming at. Travis Kelsey's ex, who had obviously they haven't said nothing oh, or mentioned, dang. and they've been coming at her like, "Oh yeah, look at yeah, he got him, he upgraded, he better than he better with Taylor." I'm like, that's weird too. That's so hell weird. It's, 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 it's some on weirdness sides, on yeah. both sides. I'm not just trying to pick on one side. It's weirdness on both sides. Y'all get a life, guys. <laughs> that's <It's just> weird. <laughs> that, get I've a never, life, bro. I've <laughs> never really understood the following the relationship thing, like. Following celebrity relationships because, like, you don't even know which ones are even real. You don't know what they got going on. People will make a big deal out of anything. Facts, yeah, facts. And so it's you sitting there just looking at people judge somebody based off what they look like right now mm-hmm. in this one picture that you seen yesterday. Mm-hmm. You like, well, because they have that picture, they can't. They're a terrible relationship. They're a horrible couple together. And da da mm-hmm. Like you don't know anything besides this picture. That's mm-hmm. what they was doing with Jeezy and Jenny. Yes. Oh yeah, they yes. like. Yeah. They they were oh my god, them forever. For, oh yeah, they, they look so happy. Relationship goes perfect when they hadn't even been together for a while mm-hmm. until things are public now. Mm-hmm. That, you know they're divorcing, <clears throat> and mm-hmm. that's just my thing. Is like fam, if you keep holding these celebrity relationships to this high standard, you'll never find happiness because you're you're gonna be forever chasing a never you know a deafened wall or you know mm-hmm. a never ending story that's. Fantasy just world. not reality. You know what I'm saying? You keep trying to <clears throat> post these people and these quotes and, and these clips. Oh, they're just goals. But they're quotes. so perfect. They're not, not goals, quotes. man. You, you should Christ. find your own goal. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, we should be seeing that by now. All the couples that we can ever think of that was just the couple. Hell, Will and Jada. Ooh, if that wasn't the most, oh yeah, oh, apparently she face, she still, and that was a perfect going, segue. I didn't even going, she, I didn't even mean to do it. Still, fam, going Jada, crazy over Tupac, Jada especially with the recent stuff. A clip, yeah, of her and Tupac, yeah. Um, still glazing my boy. Pause. She glazing, bro. She definitely glazing him. Even y'all, cold. he gone. That's cold. She, is she not? 
Is she not? To bro. say she glazing is just kind of, you know. She, the glazing is tough. She yeah. is glazing. Him, How do you say that in you? She glazing him, bro. In the spirit world. <laughs> Ghost glazing, nigga. Ghost glazing. GG's, nigga. Ghost glazing this nigga, bro. Nigga is, is dead and so gone. The, the bad part about theirs is they put it out to the public. But what was the clip for us? She posted a clip hold on, on, hold on. on Instagram. Yeah. And uh, I think it was her and Tupac. Dancing. Oh, I did to, see that. I was to like, what? Will Smith's <gasps> one of his songs. I didn't. I never pressed like you know how you press on Dog, Instagram and you me, hear the me, audio. Yeah. I just saw them dancing. I was like, all right, but I never knew the context of it. Dog, that's that's what the the thing was. It was just like not only you posting a clip oh. of you and Pop. Not in a million years, but I. You are the I'm gonna cut the music off so cause got Damn, bro. So you heard the Will Smith song? Yeah, that's but I just suit. the well, parents don't understand song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know <clears throat> that's what. Yep. And we got to talk about that. Obviously, they apparently may have found his killer, but we can get into that next. But uh, Tupac's killer, but it's just. Now imagine the parents just don't understand so I'm playing. I just need to see these comments. Oh, they comments on this post have been of limited. Course. Come of course. on, sis. You begging us to judge Will <laughs> did so did such an adorable post all about you. Bro. Oh, yeah, because he did recently post something about her too. Oh I, I think it was her birthday. This is like playing the wedding video of your first wedding at your second wedding reception <laughs> while thinking it's a good idea to do something. Yo! The comments are great, man. The comments, the comments are always funny. undefeated, man. Um, that's, How much could a man take? Bro. Yeah, I haven't followed her a long time ago. That's I just kinda, couldn't do it. Look, it just, I get it. That's, that was it kind of hurt. Best friends like, it kind of hurt me. And that's one of those relationships oh, where I'm man. like, okay, I understand not looking at the picture and judging, Jeez. but this is one she gave too much to me. Like, Damn. I was, I didn't want all of this. this and she is, gave it to yeah. us. And so now I know all of this. So now I can't look at you the same <sighs> <laughs> because you actually genuinely broke down details of your relationship. Now yeah. I actually know. Yeah. I didn't want to know. I thought y'all was cool. <laughs> like, Jeez, just let bro. it be what it is behind That's closed doors. Oh, bro. bloody, bro. Now, I you, am. now you posted a video of you dancing. Bro, she's nice. We, cold. we, we, oh, um, That's cold. Yeah, I, I, it would be over for me because, yeah, nah. you know, you I couldn't do it. Will, <clears throat> he, he deserve, <clears throat> you know, better. It's only, would y'all even let y'all girl post? About y'all, they well, dead ex. I, look, first of all, Take I it. can't tell you what to do. <laughs> so you can do whatever the hell you want to do. Would you be okay with it? No. Yeah. I'm not going to be okay. I understand y'all had history and stuff, but it's like, what are we doing? What does she cry about here in the passing? What do you mean? If your girl mm-hmm. cried over her ex passing. I mean, I can't get mad. At that, because once again, that's before me, so I'm not going to be, be that guy. Like, How would you feel? I mean, I try to comfort her, but you know what I'm saying? Comfort at the same her. Yeah. If she's crying, she I'm not going to get- She with him at some point. It depends on the level of crying. Bro, nah. Nah, for real. Nah. Shut Come your on, ass up. Bro. Nah, bro. Come on, bro. Don't go, don't go. Shut and up. I'm, Stop I'm crying. Toxic one, nah, you lying, bro. Like The post? If you, if you like- Kind of have a moment like real quick and it's a little sniffle. Like, right. <clears throat> hell, probably not even that to be honest, but I'm potting right oh, now. That's so cold, for the pod, I'll say that. That's cold, but if you man. boohooing, hell no. Nah. What the boohooing? <laughs> All right, you didn't. <laughs> the boohooing? Nah, now you switching. The boohooing. Now you switching. Is, you just said. Little, that's like, that's. <laughs> unless that shit happened yesterday, my nigga, like. like yeah. Like that's different. Now you switching it, nah? Boo hooing? It, boo hooing. I feel bro. like it depends on like it depends. We're on. talking about me nah. and Dub type relationship. How long we've been with our person? If she's boohooing over her ex right now, that would piss. That would be that would kind of bother me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like exactly. It, I, like a like a short relationship, like a, yeah. a recent nah, one. Nah, yeah. nah. See, that's, I think I think that's on a recent was, one. This you gotta you be still some got. Some, See, okay, that's what I was thinking. I'm about. talking about if you've been in a long like me and oh, Steve. Because when I was thinking about hours, I was like, nah, I wouldn't really like her crying that hard. But if I'm thinking like, let's say we were here maybe a year, almost a year, like you know, I'd be like. <clears throat> I'm only in here for a year would, of your life. I would, I would get it. <laughs> okay, so what well, you should have prefaced with that. I okay, just said relationship. That's why I didn't say know. nothing because I was thinking like 
I mean, initially, I like, guess that's the only way I can come from it with my thought. Yeah, because I have been in a long term. Because I'm like, in our standpoint, hell no, no. that wouldn't make yeah. shit. That's, <laughs> that's why I said I don't even want you crying, but I ain't like, even. It wouldn't even make sense. I don't like, want you, gotta, you to not be human. Yeah, no. Like man. I feel like you've shared some type of, mm-hmm. you know, with this person. So, yeah, I still don't get it. I, I would, <laughs> Come on, just man. go in the room. I, no, I just don't want to see it. Go cross the wells. Yeah, if I don't want to see it. I'm like not you, comforting you. Wow. Nah, I'm not comforting you. If y'all just started messing around no, with I'm each not, other. I'm talking about right now. No, right talking now, about right no, now. then no. That's fair. That, you He'd should be, be raising some questions. Like, <laughs> the fuck? Are you dreaming about this and nigga don't let me see. And don't let me catch you. <laughs> like, obviously, you should be asking questions then. <laughs> But at that point, yeah, you like if you're in a long term relationship, what the you fuck? Start crying so like that. Wait a second. So y'all really is this nigga with... really dead? Like what's <laughs> <it's> like? <laughs> he's like, you need to start getting yeah, I got questions. informations and calls and what? Yeah, we going to the funeral together. When's the last time y'all talked? Yeah, <laughs> just, we had at to this go point. to the gravesite. Hold on, is he really there? Damn, this is where so and so laid. Oh, like, we checking. On. We got what's his name? The third. Hey, the hey, third. I don't see no hey, junior. They cool. call him Trey. <laughs> They call him Trey. Hey, okay. Hurry up! Put that little green thing back over here. Yeah, man. We need to. We need to investigate. <clears throat> That's different. But yeah, nah. I don't. I don't. I don't know what her infatuation with Tupac is. And, and I get just, they were friends, but it's like at this point, it's like all right, we get it. Whatever. That's she, what it's it like. It seemed though. more than friends. Like she, well, seemed, she was in love from with what him. she. <laughs> It like, was for sure more than friends. Oh, for sure. No, she loved him. So Will don't listen to no Tupac. That's wild. I mean, would why you would want you? To? Well, he do when she around because oh, she ain't got no choice. She do. Yeah, come in. That's so disrespectful. I bet she was super. I don't know. <laughs> so she probably was California dreaming. Very happy yeah. about the recent supposedly suspect being arrested for his murder after all these years. She probably found the. <laughs> she was. She got the. Evidence. She had a P eight P I on it. <laughs> so apparently. <laughs> uh a man who was uh, long in knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We segue in this pod, bro. Come on, you stupid, you stupid. A man was uh, long in knowledge. He was in the car that pulled alongside Tupac Shakur on the night the rapper was gunned down in Las Vegas. Was charged uh, this uh, past Friday with murder. With the prosecutor saying he orchestrated the shooting, uh, uh, 1996 shooting. Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, 60 Mm -hmm. years old, was taken into custody. Early Friday, authorities said he was indicted on charge charge of murder with the uh, use of a deadly weapon with an enhancement uh, of intent to preserve or assist a criminal gang, man. That's wild, bro. And apparently, he snitched on himself. Yeah, he snitched he on himself. Because he wrote a book, right? Mm-hmm. And wrote about this. Yep. And now I think it has ties to P. Diddy or something like that. Mm. So, like, supposedly, like, Diddy has some connection to this now. So Allegedly. 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 Take that, take that out the video. <laughs> ah. I see what you did there, bro. Like, we gonna get an email. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this this is already. I mean, this is out there. out there. I mean, I think Keefe D been talking about it. Yeah, he had talked about been, it with Vlad. Yeah, and then Vlad um, apparently some uh, the authorities had reached out to Vlad. He talked he, to him about it. Yeah, and he been uh, doing interviews. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, his crisis been, been messing him up. Boy. And the authorities uh, asked Vlad to cooperate, but Vlad said he, he wouldn't. But I mean, you going on Vlad? You already co- cooperating, right, bro. So. Vlad is literally a snitch. Like that's, he is snitch without job. snitching. Yeah, that's literally his job. <laughs> he, don't, he don't need you to. He'll just ask you the questions, and you and gonna answer it. Either you'll answer it, or you'll allude to answering it. Like there's been plenty of interviews. Like yeah, so what happened? Well, who is that? I don't know who that nigga is. No one damn thing. You know damn well the nigga know who that nigga is. What, what is going yeah. on at Vlad's studio to get niggas so comfortable? That's like, what I want to know. Like, what do you have behind that camera yeah, like, that's got them, like, just yeah, saying man, it all? Uh, yeah, I killed two 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 people the other day, just yesterday. I wiped off my gun last night. And threw it over there <laughs> under the bridge yeah. on, the, on the right. Right there on uh, 6th right Street. The, yeah, I threw it right but there. But the real question <laughs> is, if he is, if they have enough evidence, you know, you can say whatever the fuck you want on the book. But if, you have, if they have enough physical proof and evidence and he is convicted, will people be satisfied with that answer? Because I, I see a lot of people in the comments like, ah, nah, either he's still alive say, or- Tupac is still alive. Or, people are going forever. I mean, they, I think that's a running dying. thing. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. just like you said about trying to blame Diddy, like this, it's always going to be a, well, who paid them? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah, it yeah. was a hit and he yeah. wasn't the mm-hmm. the one that called the shot. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so it's going to keep going. It, that's going to give some type of, 
uh, closure just on who pulled the trigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. that's not going to be the, the one end to of say it. who really Because someone's going to make a YouTube shot. video, but did he really <laughs> do it? If you look at these. <laughs> yeah. Facts. <laughs> so it, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But, you know, if, 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 if it comes out that that's what, you know, the case or the situation was, then. You know, some type of justice type of has been yeah, yeah, yeah. has been uh, served, and and that's always something that you will want to see. You yeah, know? for the family and Jada. <laughs> yeah, definitely for Jada. Uh, yeah, yeah, she for gets sure. some type of yeah. for sure. Especially yeah. Jada. Yeah. Especially her. Especially Jada. Especially her. The Pinkets. Yeah. The, the is that even? A, I hope that's not she hyphen her name, Pinkett Smith. That's oh. another thing. <laughs> it's, like, it's not a Jada. Part. I feel like if you <laughs> hyphen. Your name, mm-hmm. you not with my last name. You ain't fully. You not f- exactly. You thought the same. <laughs> you talking about in marriage? God, damn, yeah. I feel oh, the exact okay, same yeah, way. I think the only time I, they do that is when they celebrities, but still, it's like yeah. I feel like when you hyphen, <clears throat> you are not completely committed. That's how I feel too. It's my nigga, bro. I just, it's my nigga. I can't. It's, I feel like you have can't rock with that. Like mm-hmm. you, like you, you kind of step in your feet in the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When I when I place when I step you know I place my knee down to ask you for marriage I'm fully committing myself Thanks. so it should be the same thing in reciprocation when it comes to my name being passed on it should be fully commitment there I'm giving you my full commitment my life my energy everything to you so and our union name. then to, I think that's a fair trade because if something <laughs> happens to me best believe you should be taken care of the kids should be. Take care of us. That's it. And I wanted so. like everybody in the house to have the same name. <laughs> yeah, like to have yeah, the yeah. same name. Yeah, without no confusion. Yeah. Cause that's that, you know, kids gonna ask questions. Like, why, why, why I don't have my dad's, you know, last name or what, mm-hmm. what why you don't have dad's last name. Like, that's what, a lot of confusion. That's, that's a lot of confusion, you know. Why my why all our names? I different? actually uh, <laughs> seen a recent video. Uh it, it kind of made me cringe. I'm not here to judge anybody's relationship, mm-hmm. but someone a woman proposed to a man hmm. like it was like they were at a restaurant i saw it I recently those. and it, yeah, it made me wrong. feel weird with the woman proposing just to looking the at it because she yeah. dude's chilling and then next thing you know she pulls out the ring and got on one knee and i was just like get up and i get it we live in a society <laughs> of no i say what i get say? it i get it because we live in a society <laughs> of people changing the Equal norms rights and i can't but me personally, I couldn't do that. I I like Steve. Get up. Hold on. Give me the gotcha. Yeah, sure. <laughs> right. But yeah. Give me the ring. God damn. Get up, bro. Get up. Shut up. What are you, you doing? T- get up. Shut up. Because <laughs> it was just it, me watching it made me feel weird. I was like, we're not doing this. Oh, it don't feel right. It's like it's, you, just, it's like you opening the door for me. You put I, my chair in. Exactly. Yeah. You going to the door. You I the feel like you're like, you comfortable. You, you want check some, in the house. Yeah. When the, when somebody, make sure everything locked. When it's a noise, you go down there at the door. <laughs> go check, babe. Three in the morning. The pistol's you right there. Yeah. Your, go get it. Let me know if you need me. Don't, please. <laughs> when somebody trying to attack us, you step in front of me. Yeah. Uh, no, you don't. That's you got what, it, baby. That's what I feel like when you when the person that get on a knee is the one the grass. doing all that. Yeah. What's good, y'all? Get those, I've seen the get grass those edges. Cutting. I've seen the <laughs> no, grass. No, I've definitely seen the grass. I've seen I let it, that but it. I'm not, bro. I'm not. Having those a jokes, but I, yeah. I let that make it if that's what y'all want to do as a partner. The protective side, the protective side for sure. Yeah. I'm still not. Nah, don't cut the grass, bro. Get your ass in the house. Cook the dinner, bro. Well, I'll cut the grass. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with cooking the dinner. Cook the dinner. I would prefer I'll you to cut cook the, the grass. dinner than cut the grass. Get in the kitchen, woman. Get in the kitchen. That's, that's what you said? No. That's kind of, <laughs> no, it's not. That's what you just said. I'd rather you cook the dinner that's than That's not you, how you said it. Though. I said cook, cook the dinner. Cook the dinner. Exactly. I, I cut the grass. the woman part. Nah. Nah. But I, I mean, what is it going in? The, who cooking the dinner then? She is it a man? cooking the dinner. I'm cutting the grass. God damn. It's hot. It's cool, Unless your ass want to be out there burning up. She burning up over the stove. Not really. Unless y'all ain't got no AC. Oh, so they warm. don't work hard and stuff. Right. Yeah, they work hard. Nah. Bro, cutting the glass. Y'all stop the malarkey. I'm not about to He's cut, too cutting. Deep. Come on, bro. We talking about cutting the grass. We talking about practice. <laughs> cutting the grass compared to cooking some food, bro. You hear that woman? I would prefer the woman cooking than outside oh. doing that. Stay in the kitchen. No, I didn't say stay in the kitchen. And you can come outside if you want to. That's on you. But I would prefer you. To be in the kitchen rather than fine. 
fine. You can be in the living room, my nigga. What? It don't matter. Go in the you, house. Bro. I got you. Go in the house. You mean, bro. Y'all y'all stupid, bro. Bro. I got you, bro. Y'all are stupid. I'm on man. your side, bro. I'm just uh, trying to make oh, sure. You're on my side. We're trying to make sure. <laughs> okay, all right, God. We're trying to make sure that you kind of. Just make sure the wording was up. I never said, woman, get your ass in the kitchen or nothing like that. All I said was, everyone inferred it. Go in the kitchen. Let's say, get in the kitchen. Go in the kitchen. I'm going to cut the grass, bro. It's a Go in the kitchen. You sound real. You sound a real 1950s. <laughs> Hurry up. Nah. <laughs> Hurry up. I know. I know. Not get, no. Anime? In the kitchen, man, he did Anime? Voice. He snapped his knee with it. I'm going to obviously be hungry after cut the grass. Go in the kitchen. So I need my food ready. Right. Got to be hot and ready. <laughs> I need her in the kitchen. Okay, get in the kitchen. <laughs> Please. Or go in the, in the kitchen. Room. Or go in the bedroom. Go wherever you want to go. Oh, just not, not the bedroom. Now I'm oh. just your slave. <laughs> Y'all are stupid. Go wherever you want. Point huh? is, You're just going to use me. Point is, <laughs> going with Ross. I'm all for people wanting to, you know, show their independence <laughs> and all this other stuff. But when it comes to something traditional like that for me, nah, I'm not cool with my woman or whatnot. Yeah. And I think that's perfectly on, fine. It's the dynamic your of your household. relationship. Yeah, nah. Whatever your relationship agrees to, yeah, do you. That's why I'm so tired but it was of just opening up my that phone. Nigga. <gasps> <laughs> Did he, he was, do that? He was he was surprised. Oh, that's some more she doing. Oh, he him. was he was real surprised. <laughs> he huh? was surprised, bro. He, it's, it's some more she doing to him. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be. <laughs> he for sure yeah. getting his door open. Yeah, he is. <laughs> What does that mean? Swung open. But it's provocative. Yeah. It gets the people it Gets gone. him going. <laughs> I've never heard of that he term. Said, oh. then, yeah. No, I didn't do the hub, but you can tell like, oh. you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God. I'd have been like, get up. Yeah, like. Yeah, yeah that, that wouldn't have went. It would have went viral for the wrong reason. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, we not Give doing me, this. I love you. Let's get married. I can't. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let me get married. Let's get married. Not get in the kitchen. <laughs> That's the clip. <laughs> but you know what? I think. But mm-hmm. in in her defense, I yeah. think she know her man. Yeah, yeah. Because that, Nisha know me. Nisha know I wouldn't <laughs> absolutely not. play nothing. Like I wouldn't go for that because I just see the roles in reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So course, she, I think if a woman do that, she know. Yeah, yeah. She knows he's okay with that. It was just cringe for me to see it. I was like, they oh. probably had a conversation about it. She was like, Would you be okay if a woman proposed yeah, to you? I'm like, sure. I wouldn't mind. I feel like a like a key. <laughs> Not the king, sassy man. Zesty, zesty king. Zest, <laughs> zest kings. <laughs> the fuck is that? The city like boys zing. winning. <laughs> zing. But speaking uh-huh. of uh out of the norm, so me and Doug, we recently watched the video, bro, and I had to talk <laughs> about this because I've been seeing it on social media. I even had to look up the article. Apparently, there's some people out there, you know, everybody's, you know, they're identifying themselves as whatever they want to identify themselves. Oh, yeah. This is but, where we uh, go. <laughs> that lady, this is that, where it is goes that teacher? Off. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. This, is something, this is something. Teacher much, went off on this lady. <laughs> this is something much worse. So apparently hundreds of people <clears throat> who were uh, identifying themselves as dogs mm-hmm. gathered. In oh, a, the barking parks. Uh, no, nah, this is. Uh, I don't. I don't think this is that. But. People do this. It's a yearly thing. Uh, well, this is something different. This is like a movement. <laughs> yeah, it's a movement. Uh, but they were gathering in a city, uh, city center, and uh, they were pretty much identifying themselves as canine beings. Uh, a pack of dog identifying humans. No, nah, don't move the mic. Has yeah, a prompted cause. What's for- the name again? Canine beings uh, uh, prompted call for animal control after footage of a Berlin meetup went viral. An estimated a thousand people or more who prefer to be recognized not as humans but canines organized and gathering at a Berlin. Uh, I don't know Pots Potsmeer. I don't know how, how do you pronounce that. Platz Ro- railroad funny. station in Germany communicating only by howling. Or barking at one another. A lot of people had on dog mask and cool. everything. And this is a real thing. These are real human <clears> beings <throat> that identify themselves. They've been doing as, this for a while. Oh no, I know, but it's just they it's had getting a whole the numbers are growing. Oh yeah, no, I know about the the dog conventions, the furry conventions. No, I'm talking about that shit you talking about. Yeah, yeah, no, bro, it's like, it's just getting worse. What it's, happens? What happens when you see a stray? And call it ASPCA. Get this stray, this stray mud out of here, nigga. We gotta start putting them in the pound. <laughs> trying to keep my city in stray. Get this street. canine being out of here. Get this canine, canine being. Out of here. It may have rabies. This canine being gotta go. It may bite me. I just bit somebody. 
I in the restaurant. I next to that, that, that wild animal. Imagine somebody walking in with their canine I to call them dogs now. Imagine. <laughs> you can call them a bitch. You can. Oh, yeah. You can. Get this bitch The female out of here. ones? <laughs> oh, you can actually call the yes. female ones. Get this bitch out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I'm calling the dog. Hello? Bitch, get out Hello? of here. I got some canine beings. They're unleashed. I do not feel safe. I'm getting my Karen mode. <laughs> Somebody feel- walk in a restaurant with a canine being on their hip. Like, like what? It's going to happen. Who said they better stay away from uh, from Chinese restaurants? Oh. <laughs> I think that was me. What's that? Yeah, mean? we we was watching the video. I was like, yeah, they better stay away from Chinese restaurants. Oh, boy. Hey, yo. We got, some, we got <laughs> a new see. dish, y'all. It's that canine beans. Oh, man. Yeah, I was like, it's going to be the new General Joe's chicken. It's facts, man. This, man, this shit tastes different. What? I wonder Damn. what made them feel like they identify as that. Like, I don't know. What is it? They, they feel I like mean, their canines are too when, long? When you think about it, what's the difference from anyone saying they don't they identify as something different bro this i mean lot. i'm a bookshelf so <laughs> why the you fuck know. you not over here nigga? What you doing? <laughs> bro there's a person that spent like ten thousand dollars on a bro <clears throat> the nigga look like a real dog it's like a whole suit and he spent over ten thousand dollars on it and he has a motherfucker that walks him he looks like a real dog real dogs are confused when they see him because obviously it's not moving natural. So when an actual real dog sees the fake dog, they be like, what the hey, fuck is yo, this? That's like up? that guy that, that uh, made himself a dragon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fucking weird. Bro, and look. <laughs> look, man. Weird, or, the, or, the, or the chick that married the Eiffel Tower then got a divorce and then married to like a fucking fence or some stupid shit, bro. Real thing. I'm not making this up. You guys can look this up. She was married to the Eiffel Tower. She got married, proposed, kissed it, all the other stuff. They were married for about a good 10 years. Didn't got a divorce. 10 years? It was, it was, she was married for a minute. There's a lot bro. of people going in and Let's, out. Look of at the you. Eiffel you talking Tower. like this is real. She was married for a minute. <laughs> she was married for a minute, bro. I then... think she said the Eiffel Tower cheated. Nah, There's too many people uh-huh. going in. <laughs> this is true. It's I'm true. telling you. This is true. Eiffel. Oh, you dog. You scary Dirty Tower. Dog. Eiffel Ho. <laughs> oh, man. Eiffel I Eiffel wanted to go tower. to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> nah, well, I don't know, man. It's everybody's tower. Yeah, it's everybody's tower. for the streets. This tower literally is on the streets. And for the streets. So, I mean, it's. This, bro, you when you think about it, you jeez, man. At one point in time, you said you wanted to be here till you was a hundred. I don't. No, <laughs> I like, don't. Because okay. what if that's next? Like while we joking, but what if <laughs> niggas are actually gonna start signing a decree to be able to be animals? <sighs> I mean, I'm not surprised. It it's, wouldn't it's, surprise me at all. It's it's definitely happening because they have whole pedophile pages. Yeah. yeah, for people they're trying to like make that, that sh- normal. Hey, man, they they identify. That yeah, we're gonna definitely cut that out. They identify as yeah. something younger, like as a younger mm-hmm. age, and mm-hmm. their attraction is to younger community. Yeah, because you know you, <laughs> you too. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't wait. Mm-mm. But yeah, nah, bro. It's in like like Steve was saying, bro. <laughs> it's they're making it even that. The, you know, being a, the norm, and it's it's fucking disgusting. Like, uh, what's that? that <laughs> it's it's funny <laughs> when we watch the video. We me made fun of oh, it. Bro, I that lie to hilarious. you. And if, if I you, just came in here and I told you I was a canine uh, being and barked the whole pod. Well, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Steven lost his mind. <laughs> got to go. Then. I'm gonna check you in. I'm gonna get with Kess. Yeah. We, can see, we can check you on the ward. Yeah, something, bro. Some, bro. You, you, Asylum. <laughs> something, bro. Yeah, this whole bark. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You, you, uh, you, you a dog until they check your temperature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Bet you will be a human again. <laughs> yep. Stick that thermometer up. <laughs> Sir, we don't do that with dogs. You, you know where we, we, you know where we insert that, right? Oh, no, no, no. I'm human. I'm human. Nah, nah, nigga. Come on. You already in the vet, my boy. You already at the vet. It's Stretch too late. Blood. It's too late. It's too late. We doing Time this now. Time down. Time down. Let's put the muzzle on him. <laughs> Not time down. Put the muzzle. He's, he's erratic. We're gonna spay, we're gonna get spayed and neutered. Yeah, ooh, yeah. yeah, I gotta get spayed and neutered too, bro. Jeez. Oh shit! I wonder if they have to do that. Though. They need to. Being like, damn <laughs> dogs out here fornicating <laughs> and creating more dogs. Oh, Don't this fuck. say damn like, dogs. I wonder if they teach like their kids. <laughs> do, do, <laughs> I'm enjoying this, you goddamn dogs. Do any of them have kids? So like they probably this, bro. So there was over a thousand to be people kids? there. Puppies. Yeah. So how does it they work? Got little pups. So how does it work if you like 
Your mm-hmm. child. Okay, I'm trying to see like, is there a whole family of canine beings? Well, I don't that... know if they imprint on their on their children. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait. Is there a whole family? So let's say it's a mother, wife, and a canine being kid. Right? Throw the mm-hmm. whole family away. Do they still have to well, go to kids, school? Well, the kids, that's not fair. For like, the kids, do they have they to go to know. school? They're being they're being that's, imprinted I mean, on. That's, that's the family they they brought up in. That's in every situation. That sucks. It does for it a lot does. of people every, in life. That's in every that situation. That sucks, bro. Kids have to grow up in a situation like oh, my mom and dad. They're being dogs again. <laughs> so I wonder. <laughs> so do they have jobs or do they have? No, they have jobs. Yeah. For sure. So what do they do with these jobs? They are humans by day, but canines at night. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what Sound happens. Sound like a goddamn Yo. superhero. <laughs> Yo. Human by day. Canine. Okay, nights. okay. So they, they they that's why they call themselves canine. Bro, beans. the dude that bought the damn ten thousand dollar suit obviously he had to have a job to do it. They're like werewolves. Yeah, they got, they like they change, transform during the moon, like when the moon. They moon. got some of those too. Well, yeah, no, nah, they got people they got that believe. Werewolves. Yeah, they're they're they got werewolves. Some foxes. Yeah, remember yeah. we checked out a video on that. Mm-hmm. And TikTok took it down. Oh, they did. Said we were bullying. Oh, you don't remember that? Oh, <clears throat> we was laughing at the dude. That I changed remember. His, yeah. He legally oh. changed his last name to Fox. <laughs> oh, we bullying. And Mr. he would Fox. put his tail on, and he would go run. I bet See, your ass one, bro. crazy, bro. We, Why, if you want to be a wolf, go go hang with the wolves. Then. He would go run. <laughs> no, he oh, yeah, he would get off and put his little tail on. Yeah. And go to the park. Yeah. No, nah, that's a real thing, and bro. He would go be a fox. And all we did was laugh in the video. Because and we're TikTok laughing said we at was you. Bullying. All right. You can't say much because it's just like. <laughs> all right, whatever. Bro. I'm going to continue to keep laughing because that's fucking great. All the canine dogs and the foxes, they can meet up and have a great time. You start to look at your watch and like, all right, Jesus. It's, <laughs> this world Maybe he don't, I don't know, man. Y'all tripping. Yeah, on need, that. I don't know, man. We need you, man. Come That's on. That's why them aliens, I know we had missed uh, talking about that. Uh, oh, yeah, about them saying that the aliens are real? Yeah, and there's some, <laughs> you know, they have some specimens. That's why them niggas been in hiding. Why would oh, yeah. you want to be out and about and you see motherfuckers pretending to be dogs? Like they dogs is walking with they dogs. Like that's wild, bro. It's no. Fucking wild. You go to PetSmart and you have a great day. Oh man, you getting a lot of stuff for your dog. No, this is for me, my boy. What? Whoa. What? This nigga out here eating. That the dog food is all mine. It's all mine. Can you show me where your shot collars are? <laughs> now you're getting into a kinky part. <laughs> you know, you know, boys got the shot collars oh, on. Wow. I've dude. been a bad dog. I've been a bad bitch. <laughs> Zap. This nigga raw. I'm, oh, I'm enjoying this, bro. If I ever canine meet beans come a out canine to you. being, watch out for the person, canine beans. Bro, I promise you, it's gonna be I'm a show. Going, I'm, I, I want somebody to record. It's gonna be with Ross one night. He about to go out. Hey, it's a straight hey, go. Get away! Straight go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. It's canine beings. Because I've been chased by real dogs. You know what I'm saying? So canine I know, beings aren't real. I've been chased by a different breed of dogs. Discrimination. You know what I'm saying? So, I know what it's like to when a dog, you know, I used to deliver at Amazon. He he was on the phone one time. I, I, I will never forget. A motherfucking dog <laughs> came up to me. He was chill, too. I was like, oh, you chill. <laughs> Dropped the package out there. I was like, hey, <laughs> hey, you calm that down. You're doing it nice. I was backing away. He oh, I understand. He's oh. doing it nice. I, I have too many stories. Yeah. He, was on that house. he was like, he was talking to he was talking to the dog. Yeah. And I saw him, he must have didn't like how you did something. I just <laughs> delivered a package. And then I was walking away. Start barking. Ross was like, hey, <laughs> you stop. Said, hey. That dog said, Where the hell you think you're going? Yeah. So <laughs> hey, canine beans. Hey, man. You just don't run up on me. I'll well, hang with the strays. Yeah, I'll call the ASPCA on your ass, bro. Real quick. Get this dog out of here. Oh, I got a Go stick. hang with the strays. <laughs> got that <laughs> stick for saying. you. Yeah. I got that stick for you. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a dog? Mm-hmm. Like uh uh Bob Barker used to say, rest in peace, man. Yeah, rest Spay in peace. and neuter your <laughs> dogs and cats after every episode. <laughs> Spay and neuter. <laughs> <laughs> Spay and neuter your ass Fuck away from me bro yeah, <laughs> Trying to walk My real dog Oh my bad My other dog Yeah No That's discrimination wild. Point is man The world we live in Is uh, is, is, is it's, hella it's wild scary. bro So uh, I do have a question Just mm-hmm. to, just a flip on the subject Did y'all see the uh, Shannon Sharp and Brittany Renner Oh uh, yeah um, interview? I only oh, seen him, that little snippet Of him finding out her body count. He just kept taking shots. There's another snippet where she talked about uh, how she had sex 
with uh three different men in like 24 hours yeah and she ended up getting uh what was it uh, she ended up it was an STD or something. Yeah, it was like right? an STD or something or whatnot. She's like, it could have been a lot worse. And I'm just like, Reese. hey, and yo, that's why I said man. you have to multiply her 35 times. Three. Yeah, bro, that's wild, bro. Because that's 33. like that's like 10 percent of her. If she said three guys in one day, that's 10, almost damn near more than 10 percent. If she's only 35 guys, exactly. Come on now, in 24 hours. 24 <laughs> hours. That means she had. So you telling me it's only thirty five? And then she be hanging out with Tiana Trump. So you telling me it's only thirty five? And she said it's she not. was at a thousand in high school yeah, or some shit, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I exactly. Why I don't believe the thirty five? Yeah, bro. The point is, man. Look. So, question. Yo, oh, what, 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 what was your question? Do you care if you like? What's the? We gotta have context here. When you're um, mm-hmm. in two parts. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> you're dating somebody. You're getting to know them. All right. I don't. To me, you won't necessarily really know the truth. Yeah. But if you was to find out that your partner has sex with more than 35 guys or the woman that you're potentially dating, do you automatically put them in a certain category or do you mm. would you actually pursue them <laughs> to be in a relationship? When do I find out this information? Uh, in the dating phase. In the like dating phase. You, before you go to the girlfriend, mm. before you make a title. That's some, that's some layers there. I think it depends on the vibes. Yeah, it yeah, that a, you know, I'm a reading person, so yeah. I'm gonna read, I'm a read them because I don't judge you off your body count. Thank Complete. you. Okay. Completely. Completely. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like judgment is always gonna be there with the body count, mm-hmm. yeah. regardless. <clears throat> but I'm I'm not one to be like I was at one point when I was like more innocent. Mm-hmm. I was yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you're supposed to do that at marriage. Yeah, like, same type shit. Yeah, we all, <laughs> but, we all did. <laughs> there was a phase, you know, then. But then you know, you grow up and mm-hmm. you realize that's. Not very common at all. Yeah, but, it's not possible. And so, so you find <laughs> out, you know, some people have more bodies than you are. Some people have more bodies than this person. Yeah. Right? And so it really depends on the vibes. Um, at that point, if I consider, if I continue to treat her like girlfriend, yeah, our mm-hmm. next level material. Because at that point, like, all right, if you're giving me hoish vibes, and I find out. <laughs> That you had a whole past. Why are you past, drinking that star like that? Then <laughs> stupid, bro. Exactly <laughs> stupid. <laughs> if I find out you got a whole past, yeah. then you know at that point I'm gonna treat you like a hoe. <laughs> and you, you, will, you will still smash. At that time when I was okay with it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it probably wouldn't go nothing further than that. No. Yeah, that would be that would be GGs at that point. Before, if I was in my judgmental phase and I found out, I'd be like, no. Yeah, get away from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. demon. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think for me it was more not just the body count really. Yeah. <clears throat> it's it's more than that. It was more than sure. uh it it was more like any of the homies. Oh, oh, uh, that definitely okay. matters. Like that definitely I matters. think that's yeah, more no, that's that a, was that's a, that's an automatic disqualification. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta go. Yeah. Like if you if you on the play. smashed any of the homies, it was just like And I wasn't a and I wasn't a pass around guy. So yeah, me if either. you smashed the homie and my homie was like, it's cool, I'm like, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you go over there. Okay. <laughs> that's a GG. I wasn't that guy. I wasn't following behind. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care if y'all talked. Yeah, GG's man. It's, Even if you didn't smash them, and it, it may suck. You may actually like that person, but it's just out the respect and just knowing that it's like ah, I kind of I'm can't. straight. Some niggas we know don't give no fucks, so that's uh, you them. Know some? <laughs> <laughs> some niggas we know don't give no fucks, but me personally, that if I me. found out something like that, if taking the friend, the homie <clears> part <throat> out, I wouldn't trip on it. Depending on our relationship and how we've invited. Vibing because that the exactly day, the, the body they, count yeah yeah okay because exactly. it's one of those type of things where you know if that's someone's past and mm-hmm. I'm not here to judge you to Facts. to see if you can't change because some people do change there's True. some people that was living wild and whatnot and then they meet that person yeah or a situation happens <laughs> when they slow down they actually focus up and trying to better themselves they meet someone that's not looking at them just. As a as a number or mm-hmm. a, or as a, a sex item, you build a connection. I'm all for that. Mm-hmm. Some people will be like, "Oh no, nah, that nigga tripping." She she used to be this back in the day. Boom 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 boom. But it's at that point is what she's doing now. The main thing is reading the room. If, yeah. If you're not reading the room properly and you're not realizing she's not into it, like she's not looking for a long term right now. She's looking for a mm-hmm. quick okay. night. Yeah. 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 Then, yeah. Then, <clears throat> then you need to be either supplying the quick night or dismissing. 
that's it's it's really that simple. Supply or dismiss. <laughs> like Supply or dismiss. Supply now, if she's dismiss. looking it's good, and it's, and she's quote. making it obvious, you know, like I I'm really kind of trying to settle down type thing, and then she's like, but I do have a body count of blah blah blah. That is what it is. I don't care. Yeah. At that point, like that's just your past. Yeah. Now if now if it's like he said, homies, of course, then there there's the complications. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's really a lot of context and a lot of. What is, what's the word? Like mm-hmm. asterisk by yeah, the size yeah, of the asterisk, body yeah. count. What, what if you found out she got videos? <sighs> like porn? Nah. Like videos If it's just circulating? regular videos. Yeah. Why well, just niggas that didn't recorded her. Ah, damn. That's life. That's, that you sucks. Know, that sucks. You trying to gal her, but she got a couple videos. <laughs> yeah, that, that does. That does. I feel like. It sucks, but once again, at the end, that's before me. Yeah. Too. So it's it's different if it's like, like she's y'all making. Were, yeah, hey, y'all like, are very mature. <laughs> we weren't always like that. <laughs> we weren't always like that for sure. I, I feel like that's life in a and it, it, it depends on this. Also has context to <laughs> the it. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, it's because it's some context. My turn. How many? Mm-hmm. How many videos do we have circulating? Yeah. How many dudes in these videos? <laughs> yeah, it's only so much you can take. Oh, yeah. what about one of them? Because you know we didn't we didn't heard about them trains. Um, yeah, choo choos. Them choo choos be crazy. But she okay, y'all Choo-choo dating women. Be crazy. Y'all y'all about to date. You about to actually oh, about to date. Okay. You about to commit to her, y'all, and find out that you you really got strong feelings for her. Okay. Y'all been okay. kicking in the environment. So you about she to told you about her past, mm-hmm. and you you see a video circulating with her getting the train ran on them with like Damn. ten dudes, and it's Damn. right now, and it's like you you about the time to, is not now. Yeah, you done already bought the flowers for the oh. date for the date. <laughs> Damn. Tonight. And, and you know, I probably made reservations you too. You made re- reservations. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get up. these reservations, guys. You somewhere in the gallery area, you Ooh. know what I'm saying? You Joey Uptowns, maybe, probably, you know. Something, something oh, not too nothing too crazy. Damn. Video circulating and it was Kanye. <laughs> that's funny. What the fuck? That's, <laughs> that's, that's why it's circulating. It's a hell? celebrity with her. Damn, <laughs> you smashing Kanye? I'm like, damn, that's pretty nah, dope. Nah, that adds that's to his point. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. I've been listening dope. to that nigga forever. We were both doing the same thing. Good morning. Great. Woo. Good, Mr. West. <laughs> it's Mr. Ross now. <laughs> Facts, nigga. That's your pass, baby I girl. I got one up on Kanye, nah, man. Nah, nah. It's a regular J-A-G. Man. <laughs> J-A-G. Damn, oh, it, that does complicate things. But it's like... How much is it going to circulate with him being a JG? Not far, but you've seen it. Ah, uh, you know, and that's if, life. Yeah, at that point, it's like, once again. I personally wouldn't, like, if I'm in dating phase, though, I probably wouldn't pursue further, though, because I'd probably be like, yeah, I, if I mean, just, that would but give you, but me. You, you, but you, you about, about to, to make it official. That night, you at the reservations, you about hey, to ask nah, that would mess girl. me up. It would. It I would, would have to take what, some what time. What if you was about to propose? Now that's different. Yeah, that would that would hurt. And when it's just now circulating. Yeah, yeah, that would. But that how recent is this ring. video? You got the. I mean, it's old. I would have to do some soul searching. It took hold. me a long time to propose. So shit. If <laughs> so, if you I'm going based ring, off my time, you frame, got the ring and you drive it to the the, oh, the spot. It, my time frame. I'm proposing because it that's took what up. seven years. For that's me. <laughs> you already. You like. Hey, we. I'm here now. Me personally, I. It, it would definitely. It would. I. It would make me think. I'm like, damn, you know, I'm not gonna be obviously comfortable with that. Hell no. If you, because at that point, <laughs> you in love with this person, so yeah, true, true. you see what you someone you in love me? with in that situation. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna need, immediately call it off, bro. I'm, gonna I'm be not gonna immediately. I feel uh, like Nisha judging me every time because she knows. Because she know <laughs> this is <nigga> gonna <laughs> take that shit right back to where Absolutely. he bought it from. That shit man. is GGS. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm nigga. Just... <laughs> Five years of greatness, and then he see yeah. one video. Well, that's a wrap. Five years of Fuck greatness, me. but then I seen five guys see, burger and fries. <laughs> that's why I said context matter. Yeah, context then the five do guys was that was this funny. nigga yeah. had numbers. <laughs> I, I don't know if I could do five. I don't care how many it is. This nigga had mad numbers. <laughs> Two, three. This is, Damn. See, it's the choo choo train in general. One, yeah, just choo choo train in general. Because you know what I'm gonna be think. I think about everything. Like I think about this one day my kids, yeah. my kids oh, yeah, got to grow up. They might go see happen. this video. What if my kids to, see the video? You have to think about that. Because sometimes niggas is ignorant. Like if a nigga see you happy, he'll just yeah. leak some shit just because. Yeah. No, nah, like, for sure. Does that, does not act like dudes ain't petty out here. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So oh you happy, huh? You got three kids, all right. But you don't know about right. this. And he'll hit you with the Ray J. I hit it first. Yeah. 
But which is childish because like, what if you dealing with a chick that <clears throat> embraces that's her past? She don't give a fuck. You know why? And you understood if you understood that yeah, she you, told yeah. you about this and yeah, then it yeah. circulates. I, yeah, you need to get over that shit. Yeah, if there if we you were able to know about that and you continued, I feel like that's your choice to continue that. Absolutely, you, you mm-hmm. already know what mm-hmm. was coming. Absolutely, mm-hmm. you know if it don't come, mm-hmm. that's how I, I don't feel like on that, that word right now. <laughs> Stupid, bro. But yeah, yeah. but um, <laughs> if you had to find out, I think that's where it kind of that's the issue. The find yeah. out is the issue. Brandon, you know, you. there's so much context. There's a lot. There's certain of things that'll make me be like, nah, yeah, immediately. Yeah. There's a lot of things that'll make me be like, nah, immediately, because I have a pretty low tolerance for that type of shit. Yeah, so, no, I get it. I get but it. like, but that's our preference because yeah. some dudes, yeah, fuck it, they like that. Fuck it. Some, some dudes, dudes like get they off were, some, that they that you get off. Seeing a woman. Yeah. Like dudes be liking when they girl don't be having no clothes on and they go somewhere. Yeah. And everybody looking at that girl. Yeah. Some niggas actually get a rise from dudes that. like yeah. they woman getting smashed by other dudes. Yeah, man. True. That's the thing. Yeah. It's Absolutely. A, look at uh, Adam. Yeah, Adam. Yeah, man. You know, this is 22. Making I'm, making money, bro. Oh. I'm good. Every day, it ain't worth it. Making money, nah, man. I'm good on that for sure. But uh, how do y'all feel about? Uh, I know I wanted to talk about this uh, last part. Um, shout out to Brittany though. <laughs> shout out to Brittany though. That's where this I mean, came from. I yeah, forgot. Come, I, I wanted to circle it back. <laughs> shout out before to her. we went to the sick. I mean, bro, she open. One thing about her, I will say, she's open and honest about. Oh no, what she, she is. She, she is honest. And about if you, besides thirty five, yeah, besides thirty five, yeah, that's cat. That, but super. if you're willing to continue to talk to her, then I think that's your preference and that's yeah, your choice. That's you, you shouldn't be judged for that. If it's not, if it's not my preference, this is the furthest you're gonna see me talk about it because we mm-hmm. pod. Yeah. But in real life, I'm gonna look at that. I'm like, ah, it's not for me. If I'm a single dude, and I'm just keep moving. Like yeah. I'm not gonna be a man out here being messy. Oh, you heard this girl? She like, bro, like if it ain't your preference. Move on. Like, just keep going. It's a lot of fucking virgins out there that be coming that shit. Yeah. Because <laughs> 35, if that was the real number, is way lower than what we would have thought yeah. the answer mm-hmm. was going to be. Like, For sure. Because we had just seen, and not to, you know, slight mm-hmm. her, but in the same clip that me and Ross had checked out a reaction video, some girl was saying she had did it over, what, 5,000? Yeah, yeah. Like five thousand, five thousand. But I think she worked in the industry type shit. But oh, still, I don't care what she That's still crazy. Yeah, that's, five thousand people. That's a crazy fucking. How did stat. you keep up with that number? And the girl that was in the interview would have said, "Like, man, how are you not dead?" Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure out. She over there <laughs> on some, you know, how they do run the stats at the beginning of the football game. Iowa State. <laughs> right, 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 right. She was. Yeah, Michigan Facts. State. Facts. Over 5,000 guys. 5,000 yards. In 10 years. She has the record 5, of the most orgasms. 10,000 nuts. <laughs> 5,000 is crazy. 20 at one time. It was a revolving door. Over 4K BJs. <laughs> she had to have a lot of trains to like try to keep the, get that number up as fast as possible. Or it, not really, bro. If, if you get paid to do that shit. Man, you older? Like yeah, she, man, she, she probably fucking fuck. every day. So she Different like person 19? every day. Possibly. Bro, but it's 365 days in a year. <laughs> this, bro, her stats is Has she been doing that since A thousand been... doesn't hit until three years. Okay, then. You're, at, you're making my point even yeah. more easy. It's just years and years and years and years. I'm just straight. <laughs> Most people powered. like how many years? How old is she? What's the, I don't know. She probably I'm, like. I'm not sure how old she was. That's what where I'm getting at. Because how she old is she in her is 30s. what matters. Yeah, she was if like, she's in her 30s. Yeah, she was, she was this, fucking this, for a while. This wasn't no... Yeah, nah. Damn. What's and the then average? that's not even including multiple a day. We got Brittany Renner doing three times a day. Yeah. She could be... Three times, three times, three times. She could be out there, you know what I'm saying, getting If that. she's 35 and she did 10 years, that's This nigga trying to do the math. Because it's stats. in my head. Like, that's... <laughs> what is the you average? Got, what you is got the six average? years and you're only getting to, what, two... 2,000 something? What's the average age that you lose your virginity? But then, like I said, we don't know how many. We don't know how many. She, so, like, she that's what I'm eight. saying. She did that shit fast. <laughs> Unless she started when she was 17. Yeah. Lower than that. Lower probably. than that, probably. I'm, just, like, I'm trying to be nice. You know? Nah, I don't know. That's what I said. What's the, what's the, <laughs> to be what's nice. the average age of losing your virginity that y'all think? Uh, These days? Probably like can I Google 13, this? 14. <laughs> Damn. That's These days? True. I think low. I think it's Let me Google low. this. The average age. Like, how the hell would Google know that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even have to I, say that. I stand corrected, bro. <laughs> It'll probably pop up for you right Sheesh. now. <laughs> Overheard you guys talking in uh, 5,000 is crazy. It's average about 
Yeah, she said, and she said it proudly. Oh yeah, they they already got the 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 CDC tells me the average age oh. for a woman to. CDC. I'm just on the woman side. Woman lose her virginity in the U.S. is 17 compared okay. to the average. Oof. 15 is young, but that's that's the average. 17. Point. 17. Okay, that's better. That's better than, that's very scary. than where I that was mean, at. That means a lot is lower. Because I know some 13, 14. No, nah, so. there's a, most people was <clears throat> losing it around 16, 17. Yeah. yeah. I lost mine at 17. I think I was at like 16, I lost mine I at 18. 16, 17. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I lost mine at 17. Me too. I, I was like 16, huh? 17. Mm-hmm. So yeah, nah, that 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 sounds about right. I'm glad it wasn't lower than that because I'm sure that. And this is just statistics. Not everybody reporting in saying, "Hey, my nigga, I lost it at this age." So yeah. it could be a hey, situation. CDC, we, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just had two years. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I know a few people that it was like lower than that, way lower. Oh, than I that, do. So it, that's that's the thing. But yeah, I, I I know a girl in middle school went to Dowling. Mm-hmm. No, she, quite a few. She was, she was no, pregnant. Too. She was mm-hmm. pregnant when we was in the seventh grade. Mm-hmm. That, that shit is crazy. And the crazy thing is, I seen her on the news. And she was Hispanic, huh? She was black. I oh, seen okay. I seen her on the news, fam, like Either some one of years us. ago. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. And her child was like already twelve or thirteen. This is like a while ago, though. Mm-hmm. And Damn. she had got in trouble for neglecting the kids at the crib. Ah, I mean, she had the older kid watching us. Yeah. She had to learn. I was like, man, the older kid yep. was in the age, the same age that you was when you had got pregnant. So you left them at the crib by themselves and ended up somebody called the police. Damn, man. That's wild. Yep. That is absolutely wild. You was about to ask something. Oh, yeah, man. How do y'all feel about uh, <clears throat> Sexy Red's rise in Whoa, the music yeah, industry? That's that. her name. Oh, okay. Sexy Red. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not saying I don't that. Know just, what you talking about? <laughs> oh, that's how you, this nigga, you know, he's not really tapped in red. at all. <laughs> Nigga thought I was th- just trying to be flirtatious. No, that's her name. Well, I that's hope her, you're not trying to be. <laughs> that's, her, that's her fucking her artist name, Sexy Red. She has literally been blowing up, like, I want to say since, like, maybe the beginning of the summer. Um, And, like, bro, it's... You it's, say, well, how do we feel about it? Yeah, how do y'all feel about what she it. presents I mean, it's not to the me. music it's, industry it's, it's, and, it's, and how she goes about things? It's not for me. Okay. In a respectable way, it's not for me. It's not my type of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not my type of vibe and energy to to always kind of be on the super super ratchet. Oh no, she um, is the ratchet final boss. Yes, yeah, it's like <laughs> she is. She's the ratchet. That. She's definitely. She, yeah. She's the manager. I, I talked to Kess about this so much because yeah. it bothers me to a point <laughs> that <laughs> I see it in the eyes. I see it in the eyes. <laughs> You can't stand it. And then they, tr- then they try to do this. She's the new age Trina thing. Yeah. No. This Trina, is- Trina was just nasty, but she was attractive. Trina. But and exactly. And oh my god, this this, nigga feels this about shit this here, one. bro. Because it's like <laughs> Trina also carried herself in such a different way off the music. Yeah. This woman is the same way through through, entirely. There is nothing. Like nah, she is. she embodies this the worst things about this color for me. So, <laughs> like it is almost That's it's, it's so disres- she disrespects the culture to me. Mm-hmm. But it Damn. but people love it and because they embrace this bullshit and they like it and it's like people feed cook, off bro. this mm-hmm. bullshit mm-hmm. and they like and they're like mm-hmm. yeah 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 we like that ratchet shit and it's just like damn why is it my people. Well, here's the thing. That's like, why to people that, look at us because on social media, boys be clowning. It sound and, good. Yeah, on social media, <laughs> but in person, I see it. The same people exactly. that be like, "Oh man, this shit trash." Oh my god, ratchet, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. They, they, the they same turn one. up to it. Ski. And, and it's like, and I'm. In, oh, in that's her song. Yeah, yeah that's her yeah, song. She's the one that does that shit. But um, and I wasn't even like no <laughs> no super Trina advocate or nothing back then. That's I'm not gonna say I was just some Trina rider, yeah. whatever. But Trina did carry herself in such a different manner to where you could respect her off of the music. It felt like she was still a woman. With her, it's just like. It's it's just was that for the AKA? It's just like no, ratchet to no, the no, to the highest just, point of ratchet. No. If you look up the word ratchet it's in the urban red, dictionary, her face Faces. has to be there. Yeah, she bro. like made that word. And I bro, think, but she got the tats all in her face. I think what's what's it's helped, trashy something. And I'm the lace front. I don't even want to judge her like this, but she makes you do it. Her interviews. Oh yeah, nah. the like I the stuff she said. I don't even watch them, but I'll hear snippets, and I'll be like, "What the fuck just came out of your mouth?" Yeah, <laughs> like, are you hearing yourself? <laughs> what she be saying? But she, 
Jesus and they just eat that shit up. The media just eat it up. Like, yeah. Because, it, yes, keep because, saying stupid shit. Yes. Because at the end we need of the that. day. Yeah, Drake didn't bother an expensive watch. Yeah. They, 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 they feed into it. They feed into the it trend. because she's, she's the wave. She's, she's the wave. She is the most popular female rapper. And get your bag. I get it. Get your bag. She is, bro. She's Since the most popular, ye, bro. She's getting her bag. I understand. She has hey, a track with make Mickey, your money. If that's what believe. it is, I can't yeah, support she, it. Like, I personally right. just, I can't do it. Oh, Nikki supporting her too? Yeah, she had, bro, all the, all the top artists. They are, are fucking with her, bro. At least Ice Spice don't come off as like, yeah, you know, nah, she doesn't. Well, you don't got a mic, so <laughs> saying, she said that ne- mm-hmm. Nikki doesn't really support a lot of the new artists. Well, she do all the time. No, she, she the picks, recent ones. She picks and chooses. the chooses. Yeah, the recent ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people that's been out, they post, they say about how she doesn't. Like I was trying to see, I wanted yeah, to see yeah, why yeah, she sure. beat with Lotto so much because Lotto. I never understood that one. Lotto actually was always giving Nikki her praise, yeah. and not Lotto was always saying how it was mm-hmm. a dream to work with her yeah. and certain things like that. So she got a song with Lotto now, "Sexy Red" off a remix. Like it's I mean, and oh my god, god. Fam, she, that shit right there is fire. No, oh, <laughs> you can tell by the way the yeah. hands pointed. It's that's not the of fire. all things. That's not the. I accidentally heard ripping. this song. Lotto, I like Lotto. Lotto yeah. I ripping. like Lotto a lot. But I accidentally heard this song and I was like, okay, it's a Lotto track. And then she popped on there and yeah. I was like, this is the trashiest verse I probably ever heard in my Dude. life. She got a song on a track, bro. Well, no, I am not a fan. She I, got a song I will not bag, change yo. that comment. Like I, I cannot support it. I ain't with it. She don't be rapping either, does she? She just be. Talking, I, she I just, like she raps, but it's not like because she's the one that did the booty hole brown thing. Yeah, yeah. So song. when I heard yes. that, I thought that was like a parody. Song. I did too. Yeah, and no. then, but it's real life. This I thought is that the was life. like a TikTok parody. Thing. But I, I think it's because at the end of the day, like you said, that's her. She's not playing a character. That's really her. She's bro. authentically ratchet. <laughs> yes, authentically. authentically. She. Authentically. That's right. her. And I think <laughs> that's what caught. That's the wave that. It kind of got her attention that's because sick. at some point we, yeah, that's, that's, I think the the media uh, collectively has gotten tired of the the city girl wave because that was a big wave for women's hip hop. It was city girl wave, you know what I'm saying? Which I didn't understand. Period. All this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? And that's fine. It worked for that time period, but it was started to die down. Nobody was like the sound and just what they were talking about wasn't really resonating. Then you got this. They need something it, worse. <laughs> Then you so got we got to step it up a bar. So then you, when you see something like this that comes off as a joke wild. and people are clowning it like a joke, but at the same time, it's it got some play. catchy stuff. And then all of a sudden it starts, it starts growing. And now Inspiring. it's one of those things where you see some people be like, oh, she's unapologetically her. Yes, hey. she is her. Hey, be you. But at the same time, it's also what these labels and what these other people are promoting. This is the image of us. Yep. And this influencing is the younger us. <laughs> yeah. So that, once that's again, why that's what bothers me. Keep, keep the phones away from your children. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. Keep them off of TikTok. Yeah. Keep nah. Them, it's hard to do that. Keep them off of regular YouTube. It's not when you're a parent. Nah. You're, I'm saying me as a parent, sure. Yeah. But, but that's what I'm it's saying. It's everywhere, man. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. If it, it starts in the house. For sure. That's actually with 90% everything. of everything. It starts at home. Yeah. Because if your children have something to fear when they go to school, just imagine, bro, you you teach your child something, mm-hmm. certain values. We all had temptation mm-hmm. and influence when we went to school. Now, here you are teaching your children certain home values and they go to school with somebody who isn't taught those values or don't have the same consequences if they mess up. And they picking on your child because, oh, he ain't, mm-hmm. she ain't doing this and, and your child got to battle with that every day until they're like all right let me like i'm tired of being surrounded by these kids who mm-hmm. done had sex and i'm still a virgin mm-hmm. and shit like because that yeah. was all our woes yeah mm-hmm. at one point in time especially in high school like you got dudes who getting some now and then you the only one that ain't mm-hmm. did it yet and then now everybody keep reminding you yeah and it's like now it's like man i need to get some because mm-hmm. yeah. you it go from you keeping that front to like now nah, i'm gonna wait till marriage because you gonna go to hell Mm-hmm. And then you keep fighting with that, or at least that was mine. And then mm-hmm. you keep fighting yeah. with that until eventually it's like, well, dang, homie make it sound cool. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But dang, nah, he 
laughing at me because mm-hmm. I'm the only one who ain't. I don't want to be known as the virgin such and such. Yeah. And, and that influence and make you get out of your character. So that's my that's that's kind of my point. Teaching strength like, in the mind is yes, important. it starts in the house, but you they <clears throat> they still have to make that decision. True, yeah. and when you because once you get out. Like mm-hmm. we have strength of the mind is a great that's a great great point because you have to build them to that because mm-hmm. like this is gonna be out there oh mm-hmm. yeah the ski eat the ski oh, yeah. eat the blah blah you blah you think the kids ain't ski they constantly doing it already I'm a ski eat this mother- <laughs> fast all I it's all I when, anytime I hear music bro it just gives me weave glue and Nissan Altima vibes bro facts that's all <laughs> Damn. I that, that think was so of, spot bro. on. Weave glue and Nissan Altima vibes. I think that should be the name of the episode. That Weave, was so spot on. Weave glue and Nissan Altima vibes. Oh, that shit. Niggas going to be like, oh, y'all talking about you Sexy did. Red. Y'all talking about Sexy Red, man. I see that's, what you did there, bro. That's all I... And, and once again, <laughs> I'm, I'm not here to knock anybody wave. Do your thing. Hey. That's, that's you. But at the same time, it does... When you see that, it does... Just as an optic for our people... It, it, looks it, bad. It, 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 it does look kind of it look kind of wild, but once again, I'm not I'm not trying to hate on anybody's success because obviously hey. I don't think she expected for her career to go this way. Because she, funny since y'all talking about an interview, <laughs> there was an interview when she basically talked about how she got big. She started rapping because I think uh, it was uh, I don't know if it was like her ex or her baby dad had cheated on her, so that's when she just started rapping. It was really a diss song to her. Her ex and it a just random blew, career and it blew up. It that's um it blew up, bro. Hey, it blew up. The what blessings made, what came. Made her do the booty hole brown thing. Like I'm that, still. That's what like because it's girls so be left seen, field. You be at the club, ice, bro. When it, that part come on, bro. All I hear they is love just, it. and we're not just talking about ratchet. We talking about women that pulled up in G wagons. You know, classy women. You Some know, women be the most ratchet sometimes. Yeah, but women that have these professions that's the opposite of ratchet. They get to go and be something else for it. Yeah, life. and that's the so thing that they're is, selling. It ratchet is a feel good state. That's the that's the thing that no, now no, now we're breaking the yeah, code. That's now just a part of the ratchet. You cracking? Yeah, it's part of the. We're not, we're not breaking down complete ratchet. Because like I said before, the same people that are in the clubs turning up to are the same people saying the music is trash. It's the same people. True. They're in there turning up, but when they see it online, oh, this shit trash. But when they outside, My outside the hole, bro. ski. Shake your dress, shake Wait, your dress. that's the dreads. same song? No, nah, that was a different song, bro. Oh, okay. She got a new song, so I'll shake your dress. Kind of song like too. together. <laughs> but <laughs> the point together. I'm hey, trying to make is, mix those. is the idea of the ratchet. I get it. It's like they're ratchet crunk. It. It's yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Ratchet they're crunk. living through the vicariousness. It's, just, it's too much for me. I sound yeah. like an old head, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, no. It's, I'm it's okay not for That's why I said it's not for me. It's not for us, man. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be real. If my daughter came home. Ski! I feel like I failed. <laughs> you wouldn't fail, bro. It's I just, said other... I would feel like you. <laughs> it's other kids. I would feel like you. You can't account for other kids, that's and true. you can't account for the fact that's that she's that's why. That's why I'm, and it's so funny we talking about this because I just talked to my kids yesterday mm-hmm. when I was talking to them. I talked to them about being strong mentally because I said yeah. y'all are gonna be influenced to do a lot of things. Mm-hmm. I said drugs. Listen to certain de- things, yeah. do things, bad stuff, steal, mm-hmm. all that. You have to be strong minded to know right from wrong. Mm-hmm. And you're not going to be perfect. Mm-hmm. But just know there's consequences for every action. Yeah. It might not get you now, but it's going <clears> to <throat> get you later. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you don't get to get a second chance. Yeah. That's that's the only <laughs> thing about life that I used to be irritated about as a kid, but I get it now. Some people don't get to. Grow, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. because of the mistake that you made, yeah, that actually ended up taking your life, mm-hmm. sending you to jail. Not everybody get the chance to. Oh man, when I was sixteen, yeah, because it was a sixteen year old who did the same thing that somebody else did that didn't get to live to see the next day, yeah, or didn't get to taste freedom freedom anymore, yeah, you know. So that's the only. It's a gamble, yeah. When you do things, you gambling, yeah. When you play fantasy. You gambling yeah, for gamble. sure. It, it, life is a gamble. Mm-hmm. Enjoy it. Yeah. Go along for the ride, but it's just know gamble. every action is not. It, it's a gamble. Yeah. Hey, can I live with this for the rest of my life to know if I do this, I could either end up in jail mm-hmm. or non-existent anymore. 
Mm-hmm. For sure. Because we all don't get to grow old and say, <laughs> man, back in. Mm-hmm. Very sure. Not everybody gets to be the old head talking about the uh, Fam, new man. generation ratchet music. Yeah. We, we, and we <laughs> laugh at the new generation. Yeah. I mean, we laugh at the old generation, mm-hmm. but those people are thankful to be there. Yeah. Because yeah, they sure. got to see. You know, I always joke with my sister about how old she is, but she said, get there. Yeah. That's the you goal. know, and, and that's one of them things where in reality, a lot of people need to look more towards the elders because mm-hmm. they done been through and experienced some things that we think we, ha- bro, they had the, um, the freak neat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they, they had their version of all of this. Shit, man. It's just, they had no their version. It just wasn't, and it there, was, was, there was, was cameras apparently. <laughs> well, there was cameras, but not, not as much as it is now. Yeah. And now it's like, fam, they got, mm-hmm. bro, you steal something. They probably got 10 cameras that mm-hmm. watched you go from the, the store to the house. Boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Niggas you know what, bro, 18 times. They know how fast she was driving, which direction, with the other lights you gonna be at. They know all that. Fam, I remember one time <laughs> I had got a ticket. I was by Discovery Green. Mm-hmm. And they said I was parked by a meter where I wasn't supposed to park at. And I was like, man, man, y'all lying. Y'all ain't got me on no camera, bro. I already I y'all give me t- <laughs> went to the damn thing and they, t- they showed me a picture. picture. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> nah, I got more mad that they had a picture of it. I'm like, well, why the hell y'all taking pictures of me and I don't even... <laughs> it's too late, nigga. Pay that ticket, nigga. Yeah, hey. I'm taking the money. Why the hell you gonna take pictures of me? Yeah, they got you, sir. With some, I feel like sir. y'all invading my privacy. It's sir. like FedEx. You go and uh, fill up your gas. If you forget to sign your receipt at the gas station, mm-hmm. they'll, they'll be like, hey, come here. Mm-hmm. The next day you go, I was like, uh, yeah. He was like, Come take a look at this. This you? And then show me the video of me walking in, <laughs> mm-hmm. getting the gas, and then driving That's wild. off. Yeah. Well, you saw me, shit. That should be enough proof. I'm like, shit, write it down. Right. Yeah, but that's man. that's but reality. That's like, but at the end of the day, bro, what's for you is for you. Hey. And yeah, do you know, you. just don't hurt yourself. Yeah, I always, I always <laughs> push positivity to everybody, but influence is very strong. Yeah, it's very so strong. With, yeah. with how she's coming out, I think the the part that makes us angry and Steve, especially. Is the influence that it has to the younger generation, mm-hmm. the younger oh, girls? Yeah. I mean, it's just like the dudes with the, with yeah, the rapping, same. yeah, so, rapping about same. killing and stealing yeah, and robbing. Sure. You're yeah. not living that way. You are a millionaire <laughs> in a mansion in a gated community, and these niggas out here listening to your lyrics, saying, "Yeah, I need to go hit a lick. I need to." And they are living in go this spin the block. They living in this life for real. Well, yeah, something that you is. singing about. She, I think she is really. Living no, I'm talking about like dudes. yeah, for the nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Her, no, she she's definitely. Said, no, no, she's, she's, yeah, she's doing that. She's definitely got a Nissan. <laughs> nah, she, she's for real. <laughs> she definitely got a Nissan. <laughs> she upgraded it. She's what's the ratchet? Take upgrade? off the shoes at the club for the show, bro. What's the ratchet upgrade from the Nissan? Yeah. Uh. I would say Impala. Yeah, but Impala. That's for the guys to me. No, nah, there's the some, female. some chicks with the, the busted up Impala. Like it's like dents and stuff. I'm not going to. The Jeeps. The Jeeps. Yeah. Jeeps. Jeeps. Jeeps are definitely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a fair one. That's oh. a, it is an upgrade. That's like. It is a, it's I got, definitely an upgrade. I got an uh, okay job. You know what I'm saying? I go to my nine to five. Jeep, I, yeah. I'll be there late uh, every now and then. Yeah. That's the. I'm late every now and then, but I still get to work. But gotcha, I got gotcha, heated gotcha. seats and a. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I definitely don't check uh, uh, none the, of the oil, oil or nothing. Nothing like that. At so, all. Until so, something start blinking. Yeah, yeah. That's that's that vehicle. Like the Nissan is. Completely, all we don't lights, give a fuck. Uh, all the lights on. on. My it's tire, gonna be got, a, I'm missing a rim. Yeah, you probably gonna be a black one. Probably gonna be riding on uh on the on the the spare. And won't be at least maybe one spare you riding you on. Got dents. You definitely got oh, dents. For sure, for sure. That's why when I if see you a Nissan sound when a, I turn over the speed, I see a Nissan. <laughs> I slow down like somebody trying to rob me. Like I let me get out their way. Let me. Oh, and don't let it. I play. give them respect like it's the president. It's a Friday night. There's gonna be four <laughs> girls in that Nissan. Maybe track. five. Maybe five. Blast and ski. They're gonna have some Casamigos <laughs> and mm-hmm. shouldn't have to look at inside the vehicle. They're gonna have the Casamigos open. Yep. And they're gonna all you gonna hear is ski. And all their booty holes gonna be burned. And they might even be halfway out the car. Yeah. I I've seen that. Yeah. I have too. But, but don't I know you've seen it. I, you know why I say G2? Because they get a sunroof. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah, they can yeah. stand out that hole. Yeah, nah, man. Bro. Oh, they keep it open. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, man. Even on them high we, days. We ain't here to judge. We just know the yeah, stereotypes. Nah, we just know the stereotypes. Yeah. <laughs> just like niggas. Thanks. If I see an old charger. Well, this nigga with the paper plates. If paper I plates. see any paper plates. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, they up to no good. Oh. <laughs> if I see a. Um, if I see a paper plate, I'm judging you. <laughs> off top. On an old car. Are you judging someone off the music they listen to in their car? 
No, I seen a white dude. Remember we was driving by. It was a white dude mm-hmm. by CVS. I mean, he was. I don't know what it was. He was driving some gangster shit. Hey, but it was a I, white dude. Okay, I saw he, a white dude listening to Big Crit, and I was like, wow. okay, yeah, official. I wasn't expecting that. That's awesome. The music is cool, but if you got paper plates on an old car, <laughs> definitely judging you. Yes. I know what kind of play it is, and don't let it be a Charger, a black one, Matt Charger, white. Impala, old Buick, like the yeah, the, old Buick. the the black uh, before you paint it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Them type of Charger, the, <laughs> the prime black, prime black. <laughs> I tell you, bro, get out the way. That nigga on a, he heading towards a lick or you the lick? He got that undercoat, Joe. Oh, yeah, that's not the undercoat. They ain't even put the primer on there or nothing. Just <laughs> let me just paint this bitch black. And if I see a black, uh, black Mercedes wow. E class. Wow, it's different. <laughs> nah, bro. nah, Mercedes for sure. Mercedes, wow. Mercedes, because that's like I told wow. Kestis. I said okay. a lot of the times. Okay. No, nah, this is not even at you. For real. Not even a shot. Bro. A lot of the times, I know, I know what you're talking us, about. Though we tend to when we want to go. High class, we go to Mercedes. Yep. That's just what we do. We do. And we white do. people, white people go Lexus. <laughs> no, nah, they they go they go. Yeah, they go. They go Lexus too, though. They go. Yeah, Lexus. No, they, yeah, they I'm talking about the casual. Oh, uh, the casual. They'll go maybe even a Cadillac type shit. They'll go either Cadillac. Or, I see old black people in Cadillac or or newer like Tesla type shit. And if you real yeah. old, you see Teslas. You get your um, what's that? Uh, town and country. Hmm. <laughs> Lincoln, uh, Lincoln, Lincoln, yeah, not yeah. the town and country, <laughs> not the town and country, yes, yeah. sir. Pulling out of um, <laughs> lubies, yeah, not the lubies. <laughs> now you're right. No, I've, I've definitely seen some of the 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 classier ratchets in the in the C class. Oh yeah, this, I was just about to say it's yeah. usually the C class. Yes, it's the C class. It's the yeah. base. You know, yeah, the base model. There, the thirty five. You saying I have a Mercedes? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're just saying I yeah, got one. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's usually, they they go to work. They go to work for sure. Oh, yeah, they definitely go to they work. Go, they go to They're work. probably a nurse. RN. Yeah. <laughs> Those are usually the most ratchets. That's the, that's Those the, the most RN ratchets. starter package. Ah, a BMW. No, RN a BM. stands for ratchet nurse. The little three series. Get you get you an RR in a, a registered ratchet. A registered, <laughs> not a ratchet. ratchet. registered ratchet nurse. <laughs> Not all of them, not, not all, all of them, but, them, but you no, got you shit, got man. quite a bit of them. Well, 80, on they, on they off, a good percentage. Time. On they off time, they ratchet. <laughs> they, dirt, they ski in everywhere. Right. And, it, <laughs> and it actually don't matter the color then. Because I, I man, even when they're at work. Man, the RNs, it don't matter the race. <laughs> they, they be ratchet. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm pretty we sure. dealt with a uh, mm-hmm. pretty cool, you know, nurse for the delivery. Oh, she was cool. Yeah, she was cool. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's cool. Awesome. She was hood cool. Yeah. yeah. But I like hood cool because... Usually they take care of you. Th- yeah, yeah, yeah. They take care they of you. They take care of their people. That's exactly. exactly. They're going to tell you what not to get. Hey, if they try to do this, nah, I'm going to tell them not to do that. I'm going to try to exactly. order it. Exactly. That's why I love, man, when we together as a community, Black privilege. Bro, we yeah. talk about it all the time. Yeah, man. Nah, I respect that. Yeah, they make sure they walk out straight. I mean, they took care of us at the hospital family. Right, that's awesome, man. Uh, we damn near could have stayed if we wanted to. But also ready to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, get me up out this damn chair I'm sleeping in. You know, <laughs> but hey, your back hurting. For sure. But <laughs> any more judgmental cars? <laughs> ah. and, nigga, if you got a car, you good, nigga. <laughs> you know what there I don't go. like? Them real high Fords. I know what kind of niggas uh, are dealing with. Yeah. Them. Uh, we're we're not going guys. to yeah, take the, it. Yeah. The lift it. And, yeah, the lifted ups. Cut the, sleeves. Yeah. The, uh, come and, <laughs> when you see come and take it on yeah. the back, yeah. trucker hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right, let me get out. He driving yeah. 70 and a 40. Yeah. Yeah. We, we trying we, to let you know his vehicle. We know, we know some of some Shooting of out the diesel gas. Yeah. yeah. Shooting out <laughs> the, the smoke. Yeah. The smoke just everywhere. <laughs> just. I seen them do that to people when they get their car washed. Man, if you were in Pearland, you would see it a lot. Yeah, like they would <laughs> probably actually where right. it is that they I've would seen. they would park in the uh, parking lots and you had a little you know the the ones that was that had they lifted up trucks and stuff. Mm-hmm. He had one dude, he he had one chick just standing out in the middle of the thing, and they would go by the girl and smoke her out. Damn, I was like, oh y'all some hoes. <laughs> no, I just like the people that will ride by a puddle of water. Oh, oh yeah, yeah same, that's, same. That's, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. But yeah, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed the pod, man. Yeah, this man. is a real, oh, yeah. real good this one. This was a good one. Man. Um, I enjoyed it myself. Got a lot more topics that we will be touching on For sure. um, and stuff like that. I do want to end y'all with something that Chisel actually reposted. It's an episode that I seen of Kevin Hart and Jay-Z on Kevin Hart's show on Peacock. Mm-hmm. Um, a definitely dope uh, interview. Mm-hmm. If y'all have the time to go check it out, definitely check it out. And uh, a lot of y'all are giving us 
a lot of dope topics and ideas from the Discord and yep. under the chat. We definitely will get to them. I know somebody was saying about um next pod we talk about Houston <clears throat> and how we move around. Oh, some okay. good yeah, spots to go cool. to, how we feel about it. <laughs> been living here. Um I think good. that'll be something real dope for us to cool. touch on uh next time. So that way y'all can kind of get our uh, you know, viewpoint on Houston and like the kind of mm-hmm. sudden influx of oh, yeah, a lot of people out here, man. Yeah, people been kind of coming here with it in, in <laughs> slews. Yeah. Man. You feel me? So take it easy. But let me play this clip real quick and then we'll be out this bad boy. From if you behave Tell me what y'all think you in the comments. From, space. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like you, you know, you'll have people that where you come from, if you behave in a certain manner, that ain't it's not accustomed to where they are. Right. Some people haven't evolved past 16. They still stuck in that place. But you mm. evolve in every year. Mm-hmm. So that may be a threat to me. <laughs> subconsciously or consciously. Man, cab back and funny because blah, blah, blah. You have to navigate that. Mm-hmm. You have cousins. You got to go home for Thanksgiving and people are talking to you like Kevin Hart. And you going home for solace. You want family. You're going home mm-hmm. for peace of mind. You're going home for peace mm-hmm. of mind. They don't give you that. Your cousin you're, is, not, you're not. Your cousins in your grandma's living room saying, yo, man, I got this. Uh, I got this play. I want to, if you just give me, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 4,800, mm-hmm. I can make you 2 million. You yeah. like, it don't work like that. Yeah. Yeah. You got to explain to him, like, life isn't like that. If money isn't free and it, no one's given our opportunities. If it sounds too good to be true, it's really, and then he like, oh, you don't believe in my dreams. Yep. Where, where did, and that's exactly spot on, bro. something that I want y'all to kind of leave on. A lot of times people think what you have, they, they think is yours. And they yep. feel entitled to it. Join um, the Lucas song. And to mm-hmm. true as hell, fam. And so that was something that we touched on last pod. So mm-hmm. when I saw that interview clip, uh, Chisel had posted that. I definitely automatically knew I wanted to play it for the pod. Um, but yeah, hopefully y'all kind of received something from that in the whole entire pod. Again, give us some more ideas of things that y'all wanted to talk about and touch on. And uh, we're going to keep running it up for y'all, man. Episode 90. Got to write this song. In the books. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We y'all put out this name, man. Peace. Peace. This is the ITC Podcast, man.